Right, let's get back to it then. It's Open TTD. Brilliant game, couldn't stop thinking about it since uh, closing it last time, so I'm itching to get back and improve the hands there. When we started off, <clears throat> we were really just setting things up. We start off with good old Lubeck, we linked with our good friend Hamburg, and we ended the sound toll by sending a lot of North Germanic coal up into Denmark, and then the boats flow. They flow between the towns and they flow between the industries, but they flow slow. We're going to have to do something about that real soon. I have made a few changes. A few changes since the, uh, the last stream. I put in a couple of mods. This is probably going to be a running theme where something changes between each uh, segment, but it shouldn't be anything too huge. I put in the Squid 8 Fish because somebody in YouTube pointed out that if you're playing a Hanseatic playthrough, why are you just using default ships? So this is going to add a lot of uh, variety to the ships available. I also added Universal Rail Type. It doesn't actually do anything gameplay-wise, but it makes it much easier to upgrade between rail types. If you've ever had to go from, say, electric rails to maglev, You'll know the pain of sorting it all out. I learned that pain when I was mucking around, and this mod almost completely removes that pain. In any case, what's our plans for this session? Well, I'll always want to improve what's going on here because I want Lubeck to be my megalopolis of the Hansa, but my goal is to try to absorb northwestern Germany and the lowlands into the whole network. Remember, the whole goal about this is to raise every Hanseatic city to at least 5,000 population, and I'm not sure I mentioned before, but I might as well say now, I actually want all the Hanseatic cities connected. I want it possible to go from Novgorod all the way to Calais, or hell, up to uh, Edinburgh, and anywhere in between. Now, that's going to get a little bit trickier, because we run with a setting that I really like, which is symmetric distribution. I was running asymmetric towards the end of last session, but after reading about how they worked, symmetric makes a lot more sense. With uh, asymmetric, if you have, let's say, passengers from Lubeck, and they can go to the tiny little Nobbing, or the significantly larger Copenhagen, it'll just split its passengers 50-50 between them. But with symmetric on, it'll send a proportionally smaller amount of people to Nobbing, and then much more people to Copenhagen. Of course, people aren't going to have the option of two places, they're going to have the option of about a hundred cities to go to. It's going to be a lot of work. But we can always see where people are wanting to go in each of the stations. We can expand the list and see where the passengers want to go. After playing with Symmetric, I would never want to go back to manual offloading of passengers. I mean, you can't just... How often do you go down to the train station and just say, I don't know, just take me anywhere? And they'll fling you from Lubeck all the way over to South End on Sea. I wouldn't be best pleased, and neither would you, especially since they're going to charge you per distance. So, last session, I've been trying to think of a way to save face on this horrible thing that I created here. Maybe say like, oh, it was just a joke, or I just wanted to goad some people into uh, raging. No, man, the, the real setups I did here were ghastly. I'm going to leave them there for now, just as a uh, reminder of how far I've come on. Well, hopefully I've come on far, and I'm going to build what I hope are much better networks here. So, 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 so... I think I'm going to spend a reasonable amount of time just straight up connecting from Calais to Hamburg. Uh, maybe I should do it a bit at a time so I can make sure that it works. Yeah, you know, that makes a bit, uh, a bit of sense. So the way I think I should do it, given especially that we're running with the metric uh, destination for passengers, is link up about four stations at a time, and at the terminus of, e uh, of the four stations, so the left, well, leftmost, rightmost, the terminuses, uh, have transfers on those, because something that I've found with using symmetric is that if you have a long line, let's say I just did Calais over to Lubeck and I got about a dozen cities on the way, it would clog up enormously, because people would want to go from uh, Calais to Lubeck, so they're going to stay on the train all the way along, and they're going to get in the way of the throughput of picking up people from Bruges and Antwerp. And it could even get to the point where I can't pick up anyone at the station because the train is already full of people to go. I think that's why transfers are going to be powerful, and I will try to use them a lot. So, something I need to decide is what I'm going to link up. I definitely want to do Calais. It might be tiny now. 
but given its swift connection to the UK, I think this is going to be a very substantial terminus system. Terminus? Terminal? The end point. And from there, people can take their boats over. I don't really want to bridge this. Bridging to the UK. Disgusting. We love your rails and railway stations. They make the real ones feel almost sense. No, no. The things I create now, you're not going to believe it's the same person that made this. Right. Calais. Tricky thing about having a terminus here is that we're right on the edge, so getting my uh, trains coming back out and around this way is going to be a pain. I'm going to have a four-lane... Um, yeah, four-lane track. I need to get to Brussels as well. All right, let's just go for it, shall we? First thing I want to do is destroy you and you, because you're getting in the way. That makes Cali tiny, but as long as there's still at least a building there, it can be rebuilt. Even if there's no buildings there, there is an option to... 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 Uh, <clears throat> Even if there's nothing there, there is an option to build new buildings, and that will stimulate growth in a city even if the city has died. That might become relevant later on. I will never use that option unless it's to resurrect a dead city, though. Let's say I accidentally destroy everything in Calais, I could at least have a Calais back again. Right, first things first. Let's get ourselves a big old terminus in Calais. I'm thinking about eight, uh, eight stations should do it. Yeah, why not? Local authority won't allow this. Well, that makes sense. The local authorities are never bloody happy with me. As for going around the, uh, the way, I think mostly in the midpoints we would have six. I can always link this up later on. It's not too big a deal that the catchment area is tiny. We have ways to expand that, so I think what I might just do is remove you from the equation and then put ourselves down a track about here. Might be a little inconvenient for getting into, but anything in the way can just be destroyed. So we're going Calais, we're going Brussels. I actually have a Hanseatic map that I'm kind of going by. There's a mix for the borders of the Hansa, because I'm only connecting up Hanseatic cities. There's a mix of arbitration, uh, and a 1400 uh, map of Hanseatic cities, and the borders that you get in Patrician 4. That seemed like the most unfair way to do it, so that's how we're going for it. Uh, from Brussels, I think we will do Endorven, and then we'll finish off at Almir. Almir seems well situated for a port. Well, maybe, especially if I cut through here, it might kill a few... Dutchman, but that's okay. That's a price I'm always willing to pay for progress. Yeah, how are we going to move along from Brussels? We can come along, can come kind of through here and up here. Yeah, loads of space for this. Hell, it seems custom, custom ordered for it. And then again, I'm going to have another terminal here. Hopefully, that's not too foreboding. Although I want it to be absolutely tonking huge. Because not just is it a terminal, it's a transfer. Local authority refuses. Yeah, local authorities refuse me many things. Mm, but I do want it even larger. But before I miss out on anything, I absolutely must link you up with a dock. Oh yeah, the local authority is refusing anything. Well, that's fine. We can just unpause for a month. Fortunately, I'm not engaging in any of the nonsense with local authorities and their desire for trees. Uh, we've got eternal love on this mod, so... Every month they just change their tune. Calais, a train station with a few adjacent houses. Oh, it'll grow. Hell, we've had even more remote things built up in Railway Empire. I did originally have a script mod on, which made cities not so annoyed with you for building stuff uh, over trees, as long as you were building something. But uh, sadly, the script I use for the better town growth mechanics, which we can not see here, but we should be able to see in the likes of Hamburg. There we go. This is probably the most important mod that we're running here. Normally in vanilla game, you just set down up to five stations and your town will grow forever. Here, you have to move passengers and mail to stimulate growth, and it'll get to a point where you need to also give them raw materials and goods or valuables 
Otherwise, they will degrade faster than they grow, and they won't uh, they won't be able to grow large enough. So that seems very fitting for a Hanseatic playthrough. Where was my mind at anyway? Ah, yes, Almir. Let's get on with you. I would like a port here that could connect to Almir Central, but that's too far away. That is not, however. There we go. I love connecting ports with railways, and I should be on top of this. I want the big central station to be called Central. Um, if a person in Almir wants to use the train, do they have to swim across? Absolutely! Right? Hang on, we're still in the Netherlands here, right? No, well, with a bit of luck, a few of them will drown. And thank God it's okay to be racist against Dutch people. An enormous station, but this is going to be a transfer. How many of these do I want to use for the end point? One, two, three, four... How big is this again? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh, that's perfect. If I make them twelve large, then I can use six on both sides. Might be overkill. Might. Also might not. Um, now my trains won't be hitting up everybody. Other people could be connected either with auxiliary train lines or tram lines or bus lines or even ships to get them into these places. But as I said, my goal involves connecting up everyone. Right, where were we with this? I wanted Kelly to be Xbox huge, but Kelly absolutely must be connected up with the uh, the dock. Fortunately, one dock can service an unlimited number of ships, and ships are ethereal, so that's fantastic. Always got to remember to uh, call this central. Once I've linked this up, I'm actually going to put up a vote for you, the viewer. I feel that uh, there's been very little that viewers can impact on. They can give me Lovely, helpful advice, and hell, sometimes they even do. But, well, how big did I say I wanted my Terminus to be? Eight? Eight seems like overkill. But, this place is going to be pretty huge with people. Let's go eight. What was I trying to say there? Ah, yes. Um, something I want people to be able to do is decide who is getting destroyed in this. I'm probably going to pick, well, not probably, I will be picking some cities and letting you vote between them as to which gets to be destroyed. We're going to take some uh, some cities and just completely obliterate them off the map, because it feels fitting. We completely isolated Berlin in a run of Railway Empire and I wanted to do something similar here. So Calais is a terminus here, so Brussels is going to come up, and coming in from Brussels you go into all of these and then loop back round and out again. So it makes sense to come in from Brussels. Might need to do a little bit of destruction here to make way, but that's okay. It's the price of progress, my friends. Reflecting on it, there's probably going to be a lot of time spent... Uh... Oh right, yeah, it's, it's coming in with multi-lanes, isn't it? That's going to have to come out like so. I'm afraid you are going to have to go. Local authority refuses. Yeah, we'll see about that. So, 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 that means that I can set you up like so. Do I want it like that? I don't see why not. So with a setup like that, and you'll probably want something quite similar. Shame about the tight, uh, tight cornering here, I know, I know. Don't worry about it. I'm certainly not worrying about it. There we go. That means anybody coming into Brussels, especially if we extend out this line. Man, the railway building. It's a good thing the tools are so uh, so great for it. I couldn't make this tighter because then that becomes a 90 degree turn. And I'm not having any of that. Destroy the Danes, says Master of Thesis. This will certainly be an option down the line. I'm going to build up this four station um, network first, though. Right, does this all make sense? Can't see a reason why it can't. People come in, and from either line, they can go to any of these three stations, and coming out, these three stations merge into these two tracks and move up. I like to think that uh, three stations will be enough to service anything that move. I mean, I'd hate to have to go around building eight stations everywhere. The size would be immense. Right, one must consider coming in to Brussels here. There's going to be an obvious problem with crossovers, but that's a problem we can deal with. 
I wonder, could we like squeeze you over one just to make it even more handy dandy for filtering everything in? Or should we do it from the center? I think center offers more options. So that means these center ones I want to come out. And I want you to connect up like so. Hopefully there's going to be a significant difference in my performance this time after my frankly raggedy ability of building up train stations before. I mean, we just need to look at that. What was I thinking? Fortunately though, I spent a good chunk of time between last session and this um, tinkering around with the game. I mean, the game is irresistible. I've actually, I actually loaded up uh, the UK map that I did my very first play around with on stream for this. Well, not very first, but the one you saw uh, a wee while ago. And uh, just started building that up. It was my little tinker project when I had little else to do. Well, always got stuff to do, but chose to do that. Right, so what of you? I want these to come out and loop back around. And I reckon a setup like so. I know we use sharp corners and it lowers uh, maximum train speed. I can live with that, can you? Hopefully. Yeah, we're gonna run into a bit of a pickle here, right? I am going to need this bit coming back out to link up with these. How can that even be possible? Oh, I think we can solve something here. I know you saw that. I'm using hotkeys now. That's how advanced we've gotten. Right, I need you over here. How are we going to solve this? Well... Well, well, well... We're going to lower the land down a bit. Right here. And right here. And we're going to tunnel up. Well, actually, it needs to be a little bit longer than that now, doesn't it? Forgive me, local authority. I must sin and sin some more. I love tunnels. I think I like them more than bridges. There's just something so elegant about going under the ground and then building up on top of what you've uh, you've created. I reckon you could layer your um, you could layer your tracks three times over underground, overground, and bridging over it on top of that. An exciting prospect, I know. Let's just have you come straight out like so. Similar story here, don't worry, we'll neaten things up with the removal tool. AR. So there we go, now people can go straight in, pick any of the eight stations at the terminal, and then come back out and go out here. Is eight overkill? Maybe. I reckon they'd have a hard time using all of that, but there might be a lot of demand for people coming into Calais and moving off. And we also might, we might even need to expand this thing further, God knows, because... Mm, well, the likes of Bruges and Antwerp might want to connect up to Calais, but it might be easier for them to connect up. I don't know, we'll figure it out as we go along. As the, as the everything expands, our needs will further expand. If you're really daring, you may be able to layer multiple tunnels into- wait, you can multi- you can multi-tunnel? Oh yeah, of course, because the land can go way, way up, can't it? That does sound daring. Okay, let's do signaling. Thankfully, signaling is dead easy in this. Uh, they'll never be coming out of this side of the uh, station, so that's not of a- not a concern. But they will need signals for here. Nothing wrong with this, right? Out, coming out, and then coming over here. Excellente. And then, in a daring bit of sensibility, I've actually made it that um, my signals are five apart, rather than, what was I using before, like three or two, or even worse. So there we go, go. Hopefully I got those the right way around. People will be coming in on this side and out on this side. Uh, I got that the wrong way around, didn't I? Now they're going to be coming in here. Which means these aren't needed at all. They'll be coming out 
effect here. Well, really, good practice is probably just to always have signals looking into the station. That way there's a lot less thinking and you're generally always going to be on the right track. I don't know why I'm using this particular kind of signal though, the path signal. God knows, must make sense to somebody. Now, there's a slight issue with lack of um, stations for getting maintenance done, but we'll go and do that later for now. I want to link up Brussels with Eindhoven. I feel like if you just do short connections, you really waste the ability of a train to get up to a good speed and clear a lot of distance. Playing around, uh, I was using a map with very dense cities, and you, your your trains were like, they were about as good as trams, because they never got up to any reasonable amount of speed. I was not appreciating that much at all. Right, so we bring you out. Gotta remember that these are going to be multi-rail like so. Lovely. Jake, you might want to look at your tunnel. Can you tell me there's something wrong with my tunnel? Oh, wrong place. Oh yeah, it's uh, not connected. Well spotted. Ah, that will probably have implications for the signaling that I did. There we go. Cheers, Marvin. My greatest ally. I want these right at the entrance here so people can maximize the use of these. That Calais tunnel is currently a train abyss and not... Ca oh, right. Well, it's connected now. But Marvin got on it with more subtlety, I might add. Lost art for Germans, I'm sure. Now, I can't help but feel that the fastest way across this is just to cut right along, so I think I will. Bring you out, bring you connected. If there's one thing I would really like in this game, well, there's many things, but something that immediately comes to mind is copy-paste. When I build a station, if I could already have these bits on the edge pre-done, mmm, oh man. A revolution worthy of a Nobel Prize, truly. I imagine you make up a lot of time and speed by doing diagonal lines like this. Well, I guess they're horizontal from our perspective. This is the lefty Lucy way in, right? So... You know, that is perfect, actually. That is so perfect it hurts. Except that becomes a 90 degree turn. And if there's one thing I will not be tolerating around here, it's 90 degree turns. So what's a man to do? Oh, it's so perfect, though. There's an easier fix, Jake. Cut it short. Are you talking about doing that? And no, I don't like that either. Mm -hmm. You have a 90 degree turn coming out of Calais as well. I do. Oh, crikey, yeah, I've got that. I really do not like 90 degree turns. You're right though, I made a boo boo there. Well, I can't say I don't like them and then use them, surely. Let's have a bit of a fixeroo here, shall we? so efficient on the space usage. A bit sad, actually. But at least there's no 90 degree turns. I just really don't like them. It doesn't seem right. I mean, it's bad enough that this game has turns as tight as they do. Mm -hmm. Those signals are the wrong way around, aren't they? Yes, they most assuredly are. Let's just clear them again and remake them from here, because you're going to be coming out here. A question that I got asked on the uh, the YouTube comments earlier was how I auto-place the signals here. I click, I choose a signal, I hold control, and then I drag it along, and then it auto-makes them for me. At this amount, the dragging signal distance. Great top tip, I love it. Still though, 
I don't love this setup. How do I eliminate this uh, 90 degree turn? I could have you come in here instead. And then if somebody wants to go in through that way, they can go like that. But that's a 90 degree turn as well. Yeah, that actually works. Now you can go up to there, along to here, along to there. And you can go do 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 and do 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 Excellent. Beyond excellent. I'm actually baffled by my own competence here. Right, let's a go go. I actually pan the map when I do this. Yeah, there we go. That also introduces another 90 degree turn. Can we just have the same solution here, though? I reckon so. Maybe this is a good thing about uh, the game not having copy-paste, you have to come up with solutions on the fly for problems that you create. Do, 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 do. There we go, that works. You can come into there, into there, and into there. You can go into there, there, and there. Oh, McLovin it. And that is how half the map becomes rail networks, as was meant to be. Ah, but you see... Something that I am deciding on, partly because I want to see more trucks, and partly because I know it's going to annoy a lot of people, and I... Oh, man, cheesing people off just does things for me. But, uh, all freight of goods will be done by truck. We have one... Well, okay, not all freight. Perhaps a better way to say is that no freight shall be done by train. The exception being our initial money maker here, but once that gets destroyed it will not be replaced. We will be trucking and boating and tramming around our goods, but we will not bring them around on rail. This right Brussels one is wrong. Oh well, he'll find out. The right Brussels one, let me think, you can come out there. Ah, you don't have a way to cut over to there, do you? No, you don't. We need you to go out like that. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, cargo ships are fine, just no freight by train. I have a bit of actual reasoning for that, and that is that riding a train is sheer, unadulterated joy. Whereas riding around on the roads is incredible amounts of misery. So why should we give goods that joy? People should have that joy. Goods can ride around on miserable things like, uh, like trucks. Well, no, it's a bit heresy to say trucks are miserable, but I, I've never been a big fan of driving at great length. Longest car journey I have ever done myself, as in driven, is just Aberdeen to Edinburgh. Anything longer than that, and I'm just going to, I'll get the train, make somebody else do it. I mean, I, I feel the joy of driving, I enjoy it, certainly enjoy motorbiking as well. Oh, I would have done a long run bike, wouldn't I? Well, good thing I said car. But the point remains. Let people enjoy the experience of rail and boat travel. Let the goods suffer on the back of the vehicles, the road vehicles. Now, now. I want you to come into here at Almere Central, which is actually more like Almere Transfer. But there's a city in the way, Arnheim. That will have to be connected up later on, so for now I reckon we're just going to bridge across here, and across here, and up and in. That's a bit Manhattan moving, isn't it? I'd rather just go and crush right through Arnheim. Oh, if a man could be so lucky. I think we might actually snip up and through here. Seems a bit more logical. Oh man, there's going to be so much rail network making in this game for connecting up all these poor sods. Remember, my rail network is going to stretch from Calais all the way to Novgorod. 
kind of excited about that honestly, but it doesn't all need to be in, done in one bit. We can work on a bit of the rail network and then absorb people into the boat network, which feeds into the rail network and all will be well as we continue on. Recht, we can't just go across this river, can we? No, it stops dead. So we're going to have to have some modest bridges. Now there's a bit of logic that says, can I not just destroy that? Deep or destroy. And that's certainly not what I want. Let's keep you pinned as well. There's a bit of logic to just removing this river, but the way I see it, this is Mother Europa. I do not want to, um, I do not want to damage Europa's look by doing excessive terraforming. I'll happily flatten places out, but the idea of just artificially uh, moving this coastline in just because I want to connect up a dock or getting rid of rivers doesn't sit right with me. We will use bridges. Uh, I only have access to steel girders. Actually, I say only. The top speed allowance is massive. It's not really a problem. I don't know how much hope the, our trains are going to have to slow down for this, but I'm sure I'll find out in due time. Ah, they're just out of the station. They won't be reaching top speed just yet anyway. Can you make it all the way through Almir? Yes, you can. And it's not Almir, it's Arnheim. We're going to Almir. Well, fine by me. Do-do-do. Just remove the Rhine, why not? Yeah, but as Marvin points out, why even bother playing on a European map? I can... Oh yeah, see, now I can make a bigger one. Maybe it depends on the distance. Actually, now I can't use the other kind of cool-looking bridge that we had before. I hate these ugly red bridges. Why do they have to be the best ones? They're hideous. Actually, they're so hideous, I'm thinking about going transparency, bridges, just always have them be see-through, because that red is just glaring and hideous, and I won't be having it. I don't play these kinds of games to make hideous things, despite what people might say about my earlier railway network. Yeah, I can't play these kinds of games and enjoy myself if I just get some glob of land. It's that civilization problem. Here's just a glob of, like, a few islands even. Civilization's really bad for it because they generate these horrible, soulless-looking islands. Neophan, wait, I've made a big mistake on Almere. This isn't how people come in and out, it's a terminus, so actually we're going to have to do what we did at Calais. So, actually, can I delete all of this? Well, I could use the, um, I could use the destruction tool, but that would really cheese off the local authority, because I'd be destroying a lot of, um, I'd be destroying a lot of plant life, and they, they tend to hate that. Right, how's this going to go? I think you'll feed into the center and have all your choices, but we'll just do a repeat of what we did uh, previous. That does mean I need to get rid of you. All this I can delete, surely. Boom, 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 boom. I want to feed it into here and give it the uh, choice of a lifetime. Then down you go, go. Give them the choice. Yeah, I need this to be too wide, uh, too wide to get through. There we go, go. And after Marvin's reminder, surely I will never forget to go over like that. Now, yes, we do have plenty of problems with this rail line yet to be solved. We shall solve them, we will get it operational, we'll make sure it works. There's no point building the entire Hanseatic network of this before we can be somewhat sure that it works, right? Uh, do I want everyone to be able to go into every station? It's probably what I did at Calais. There we go, so now you can go there, and there, and heck, even like so. And then you need to be able to come out and around again. Um, did I have it out like that? I can't actually remember how I did this now. Well, I should build the initial one and then go from there. Or, or just look at Calais, that would make more sense. I wonder if there's a more... 
reasonable way to have this because I I need this extra space over at the lip here or else I won't be able to curve around without using disgusting uh, 90 degree turns and I am so not a fan of those. Oh yeah, you can actually just link up like that and come out. Easy peasy. Ah man, there's something so soothing about this, especially when listening to the banished open TTD and stronghold soundtracks. I'm on the hunt for more soundtracks that are befitting for this. If you have an idea, just let me know and be happy to give it a twirl. It has to be music that's um, not very invasive. Speaking of invasive, or this just left my window open. Thoughts. There we go. It's largely peaceful around here, but occasionally there's gusts of wind or whatnot. I don't use noise cancelling headphones when I stream. For some reason, that just makes me extra nervous. Nervous is the wrong word, but it evokes feelings. How about Dom 5 music? Incredibly copywritten, so no can do. Every single Dominions 5 stream, I use Dominions 5 music because it's really good and incredibly fitting. But it's all been licensed. I forget the, the guy's name, but uh, some guy made all that music, licensed it out for Dom 5. And uh, of course, they just licensed the use of it in their game. So every video I make about Dom 5 gets hammered by the copyright mafia. Oh, nice. It works through bridges doing this. Excelente. And I need you to come out like so. Again, control drag. And it'll put it all the way along, man. Imagine putting these down manually. Do we have any base game players that can confirm or deny if these had to be placed manually when playing before? It sounds horrific. RimWorld music does have some good ones, but I'll, there's quite a lot of RimWorld tracks that I do adore. But they're really overpowering, like they steal the show. So I need to be wary of that. Okay, now, 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 I need to think about servicing. There are two ways to go about it, and I don't know how best to do it. One is to just place a lot of service stations around here, and I even have a good idea of how to do that quite, um, uh, what's the word, condensed. But I can't help but feel there's a better solution where I have a service station... Maybe at both ends, and the trains go into them, but making the setup for that is actually a big pain in the bum. Hmm. Doesn't even have to be both ways. I could just take it off the main line here and go and put them in for uh, servicing as they need it. But I really don't want to just spam stations everywhere, because something I've noticed is that you'll have a train coming out of Calais and going towards Brussels. And it gets to about here, and then it goes, Oh my god, I need to service! So it actually goes through Brussels, doesn't stop, and then goes to a service station. Let's say there's a service station here. And then it comes out and goes, Oh, I need to go to Brussels. And then it goes round and round and round and round and back again. Then it does Brussels. And then it thinks, okay, next on the list is Eindhoven. So then it goes through here, back through Calais, back around through, and into Eindhoven. And it's done an entire loop without helping with the throughput whatsoever, actually impacting negatively on it. So, obviously I don't want that, but setting up for manual might be a pain in its own. You can have planned service stops. Correct, next gen low. I am considering that. T intersection depot stations? Yes, that is what I'm thinking. I'm verily thinking that. Show, show, show. Not even T intersectioned. What I think I would do is just have them peel off here and here and here and here and tell them to go if needed. That way I can do it for all of them, and they're not going to back up the uh, the system for it. So, I'm, a, I'm not going to have this on the main line, because I think that's just going to clog matters. Instead, we're just going to have you come out. Ah, cheeky-like. A lot of space so that they can, uh, they can back up all they want here. 
Uh, okay, that's too much space because you can't build a junction off of a signaled area. Makes sense, it would be hard to break into blocks if that were the case. So, building one before I build the rest of it, it comes along this way, and then I would want a service station like so. Now, I would love it if I could group the service stations. Oh, that would be just wonderful. Uh, that way I could tell trains to just go to this group of service stations rather than a specific one. But that doesn't appear to be an option. I haven't seen a mod that makes it an option, although I also haven't looked. Let's have a similar lot coming out here. And feed right back in. This might be excessively long, but uh, I don't want trains to be clogging this up if they're coming along for servicing. At least if I set it up like this, it is time-proof, because I can set up a single train to do this loop, and then just spam more trains as we need. And I suppose as the railway becomes faster, I can have more trains. Is that logical? Sounds like it might be a fallacy, actually. Doesn't matter. It's what we'll do. Uh, I wonder if this would be a problem. It's a bit short for cutting them off, especially since I love to run with the longest trains possible. Now oh, what the hell? Let's uh, let's make this long, longer than long cat. Another hideous bridge here. Before it feeds right back into the network. I cannot do the same here because of you. Unle- oh. Curse the local authorities. Alright, what would Brian Boitano do? He'd probably cut off along here and put it, uh, put it along there, and that's perfectly doable as well. There's no nothing saying these have to be on the same area. So you're coming along here, go along, 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 and back in. And here's your service station. And you're gonna snip off like so. Feeding back into there. But of course we have a bit of a problem. I can't put my service station on this, can I? Or can I? Well, I really don't like uh, 90 degrees, do I? Oh, that's a, that's a 90 degree turn and a half, isn't it? I'd have to have the train do something like... That. Almost lets me put it there, which would be pretty cute, but... No can do. Let me think. They branch off along here. Do, 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 do. Oh, I should have done my signaling first. Do, 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 do. Alright, that should be fine enough. I worry that somebody already coming in here is actually going to clog this because it's not long enough. On consideration, I shouldn't be putting it in the middle here. I should be putting it right at the end so it clogs up the line even less. I'm not going to redo what I've done before, but the thought occurs that this is actually daft. It's okay. It's what I love in these kinds of games. You create your own problems. You solve your own problems. It really scratches the same itch that you have in Factorio, or at least that I have in Factorio. Uh, let's not do that. Let's delete along here. And that gets rid of everything on this section. And then we can remake them. And then... You go there. Which makes so much more sense. It's unreal. Uh, except there's no signal. You're coming out here with no si Well, actually, do they use that? No, forget it. Um, you... Mm -hmm. You think this is easy compared to Factorio Alpha? No, you must be. You must be taking the mech. I think this and Factorio is uh, chop and cheese in terms of complexity. Factorio is a really, really easy game. I don't think a lot of people want to admit that, but it is. 
incredibly simple. Right, you're coming in there, it's coming at you. Actually, it does bother me now. Let's actually move you along quite a lot further. I just don't want this clogging up my systems. You want in here, you reserve a path for it. Modded Factory, on the other hand, oof, yeah, well, once mods are in the picture, all bets are off. Right, this strikes me as a pretty usable network. If there's a glaring issue with it, I trust people would be kind enough to alert me to it. But, let's get rid of that. One thing about this game is I find my left hand moving around all the way along the keyboard. you got to hit, uh, like, escape to get rid of what you're currently using. You need uh, WASD and all the things around it for the awesome hotkeys. And you go over to delete to clear all the windows that you have up. And you even have to go to pause break to pause and unpause the game. I really need to find a way to remap the hotkeys. Especially pause, I just want that to be spacebar. What is spacebar? Doesn't seem to do anything. Right, I know you're all dying to see this network up and operational. So let's make it so. We're gonna spawn our vehicles from here. Now, I always just use maximum length trains. There's bound to be a downside for that, but I like to do it. The way I see it, it's going to move the most passengers through the network and do the most work at each station. But I suppose it does clog up the network easier and blah, 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 but it just seems best for me. Right, what do I want? I want engines. I want the latest engines. So, sort by introduction date. Diesel engines, 82% reliability, 98% reliability on the UU-37. It's older, and it's not as fast as the Floss, but man do I like that reliability. Yeah, it's hard to say no to that. Get me, get me that diesel. I don't know why it says buy and refit, though. Hmm, I'm not doing something wrong here, am I? Like, is this one of those vehicles that can't have extras put on it? Surely it would say. Nah, I'm sure it's fine. Let's get ourselves one of these. And... Oh god, something I want to make sure is on for this is expiration date. Okay, vehicles never expire, good. Um, if you let vehicles expire, they're gone forever. And I think that'd be really sad. If there's like a really old engine that you get attached to, not being able to build it again would just make my heart uh, do sad things. Anyway, passenger trains. We have this, but that's a, that's a unit that moves on its own. Let's just use a regular passenger carriage, and then we build that up until the train is five long, and then I like to add mail until it's seven long. And now to make our route for you. Where are you gonna go, train 20? You're gonna start your everything over at Calais. I'm not going to use timetables or anything like that. I have looked into timetables. I have decided that they are nay worth it. So you're coming through Calais, do 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 do, then right back out. You're coming along here. I want you to go here, if and only if it is needed. Service non-stop at Lily Train Depot is a very confusing name to put on it, but whatever. Onwards to Brussels, onwards to Eindhoven, onwards to... I did a mistake that I often make here. Let's just delete them all. If you click on one and do more go-to things, they go above it, and that uh, that I mistake often. Tell you what, let's just uh, put all the destinations in first and then edit them. Nice thing about doing this is you only have to do it once. Because all my vehicles are going to be cloned, and unlike a mistake I made before, uh, what did I do? On him central, da da da. Out for train depot, Eindhoven, Brussels, then you, and then you go back to Kelly. One mistake that I made when uh, making a lot of my other ships is that I just cloned instead of cloned and shared orders. So at some point that's going to be a big headache for me, but that's something I like about these games, right? You're making your own headaches. I'm looking for train depots. I'm going to put into service if needed. Train depot, service if needed. I mean, it's so confusing that this button. You think you're choosing service if needed, but just pressing service does the same thing. Otherwise, by default, I suppose it is always go. Train depot, service if needed. 
only the outer tracks connect to the depots. We're going to fix that, don't you worry. Right. Okay, okay. That's got them going. Yeah, one thing that I actually should have done earlier but didn't is make uh, we crisscrosses, so I do want people to be able to switch over to this. Generally, I want to add little X's onto these so that people can switch anyway, because it might be that there's a train broken down here, or for some reason the train is faster and wants to overtake. Um, and then again, I don't want to do that too much, do I? Putting down all these X's is just there. Another way of thinking about it is if they do really need to service, they can... Um, they can take that line... I don't know if it's going to work that way particularly well, though. Ah, what the hell. Oh, I can't actually move this because of that signal there. Well, that's no big deal, because I can... Oh, whoa, 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 we don't do... We don't do 90 degree turns around here. Let me just give you that option if the need arises. Same for you here. Can you go down like that? No, because there's that signal there. That's fine, though. I can just always give them the ability to crisscross beforehand. Do, do, do. Maybe I should have my signals like right at the point where they can uh, do their turns here. I don't know. Something's rubbing me wrong about all these crisscrosses. My, uh, it's in the vibe. I can just feel it. It's not right. I wonder if it'll work out fine this way, actually, without the crisscrosses. Because surely they'll decide when leaving Calais if they need that service or not. If they... Oh, right, no, because these things don't actually crisscross. Well, then, I will give you a crisscross here. Then you can decide if you want to go up that way or not. And there's you. wonder how well this will work. Well, I guess I'll soon find out. Doom, doom, doom. Am I crazy or does this game have a separate mode where everything was just fancy and candy? Like, yeah, you're thinking of the toy biome, which is a real biome. Never used it. Someday I'm sure I will. Okay, I'm sure that's connected up enough, right? So I suppose you might actually want to be able to come over here, wouldn't you? I don't know if you'd want to be able to move over to there or not, but... Nah, why would you? I mean, once you come out here, you go into the station anyway, at which point you're going to re rejig where you're heading, so I don't think it's a big deal. I think having signals coming into this junction is a big deal, though. I should be on top of that. I find it very hard to tell which way the signal is looking, because you can, s you can still see the lights from behind, which is a very nice touch for seeing what they're doing, but... Throws me off. The last X you played was between service and main line. Which one was that? Oh, here? No, it was here. And you're right, I definitely don't want that. Thanks for pointing these out because I will inevitably miss such things. That's the kind of X that I want. Ahem. <clears throat> I'd also want you there, even though you make this a bit uh, a bit tiny. Right, let's see if this all works, shall we? We've done a lot of uh, setup here. This train line should all look really valid. Oh, that is heckin' valid, right. Let's just go balls to the wall, clone that train. How many, how many trains do you want? Chat, let's pick a number. It's only four stations, the distance isn't that long, but we do want good service around here. Brussels is large, Eindhoven is moderate, Almere and Calais are tiny. Uh, of course I'm only going to accept numbers that are logical. 12 is a good number, it would have been better if it was a bit friendly number, like 8 or 16, but uh, I'll believe in 12. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Activate all button. And now they're going to come on out and make me happy, make me money, pretty much the same thing. Oh, bollocks, I put them in the wrong place. <laughs> that's, uh, that's bad. I should have built them here so they could go straight to Calais. Instead, I put them on the wrong side. Well, that's okay. 
They'll go around and have a good time. You know what? We're rich enough that I don't need to care about these kinds of things, aren't we? So instead, I'm actually going to sell all the trains in the station. Bye-bye trains. Wait, why did that not work? Maybe you need to tell them to stop and then get rid of them. How many did we deploy there? One, two, three. We're going to go here and clone them. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Activate. Yeah, we'll only take them about a year to get around, but I want that money in service now. You have to understand. God, I love this. I, I kind of feel bad for the people in the world that can't appreciate the unbridled joy of seeing this. And it's just so well made. How was this made in the mid-90s? The, the tiny little signals going, the way they go down through the uh, through the tunnel there. Smoothly as well, right? I'm thinking of like old NES games where something had to go behind something. It was a very abrupt cutoff for it. Now, there's obviously nobody to pick up because... Wait, hang on. Why is Kelly only accepting coal? You have coverage for these two buggers, don't you? Oh god, maybe Kelly is too small to actually have uh, anything appear here. No, that can't be right. Maybe it is too small to actually uh, grow at all. In which case I might have to uh, fund a bit of development in it. I don't actually know these things. If anybody does know, I'd love to know it. It'll grow eventually. Okay, good. I love, uh, love the idea of growing this tiny town to something that's probably going to be one of the larger ones. Alright, Brussels does accept passengers and mail, which is excellent. And expected, of course. However, Brussels is barely just tickled tinily by this. So we're actually going to do something that I know a lot of people hate, but it's also not my problem. We're going to... is that Brussels Woods? Okay, fine, we'll rename it in a wee bit. We're actually going to expand its reach using a couple of uh, depots. We're definitely renaming this. It's not Brussels Woods, this is Brussels Central. Do we need to or want to expand Eindhoven's reach? I mean, it would be useful. I haven't seen a good reason not to do this. If you hold control when building a station, it will give you the option to join it to another station, provided the station is close enough. There's a maximum spread limit from, like, one edge of your maximum station to the other edge. Uh, Almir is already covering all of Almir, so that is okay. No mail, but as it grows, it'll get more. God, this horrible train route disgusts me that it's even working. Ultra disgusts me that it's profitable as well. What the hell is this? Well, currently it's more profitable than my probably better setup uh, rig here. There we go. First bit of money coming in. Passengers coming out. They want to go anywhere. Probably not a good sign. Ah, oh, look at those wee buggers go. Does it make sense to come connect Brussels to Antwerp? Uh, you mean like linking Antwerp with Brussels or connecting with somewhere? It makes a lot of sense, but this will be destroyed later on, right? It's, it's horrible. I'm just keeping it around until this proves itself to be a lot better and then I can feel better about tearing it down. But it makes a lot of sense to... Well, I mean, they're all going to be connected. In the end, if you are in Calais, you will be able to go to Aberdeen, Edinburgh, Almir, Novgorod, Lubeck, Stockholm, anywhere within the Hansa. They must all be connected. And the thing is, because we have symmetric destinations, they're all going to want to go somewhere. Let's have a look at Lubeck, shall we? The people at Lubeck Port and the mail at Lubeck Port all have places they want to go to. So there are 10 people there that want to go to Malmö, 152 people want to go to Copenhagen, 10 to Helsingborg, and 14 to Göteborg. Most of them want to go to Copenhagen, because Copenhagen is the largest destination available. Same with all those bags and things. We'll deal with that in due time. Uh, I will erect the Kiel Canal next gen low. Can somebody tell me when the Kiel Canal was made? We might actually be well past the time. Actually, 1966, yeah, we definitely are. I'll erect it later on. Look at you. Breaking down at 82 reliability. But that's not a problem because you can just take the other path. 
I've tried playing with two lane rails, and I would only consider that on something that's uh, very much not a mainline. Look at that, the different speeds they go at! The slight overtaking, the logic involved in choosing one path over another. It does slightly bother me that I don't have more crosses in it, so if you were to break down and another train comes up behind you, it won't be able to switch over. But the trade-off there is I don't want to have to build so many different... Uh... But that's weird. Why do you take there instead of coming in here? You block them. Probably because logic is hard. Man, these trains are not that reliable. You're clogging up the whole system here, Sonny. Well, that's okay. These diesel trains are fast enough. They'll get up to speed and deal with it. I want to see someone go in for service. In fact, I think we just saw someone go in here for service. Oh, hell yes. So, good to see that they're getting that service, which will knock them back up to 98% reliability. Not going particularly fast. A tram would do that kind of distance uh, probably more efficiently, but... And trains are just king over long distance. And what's going on here at Almir? Well, not a lot. Nobody wants to get on at Almir. But Almir will very slowly grow. As we can see, they're now growing every 550 days. That will improve. Eindhoven, three, four, uh, 243. Brussels in 500. In time, the, those numbers will shrink and they will grow much faster. This becomes bothersome. There's a bit of a lag in going in for their maintenance, which is why you should have been down here and not over there. But this is easily solved. All I need to do is put you there, and I just need to grab one of the trains on the network, and what is this actually? This is Lily Train Depot 2, and that's Lily Train Depot 3. So all I need to do is get rid of two, or rather after that, and go to there, tell them to service when needed, and then delete that. And now they will not go here. Well, I'm sure they'll stop going in there. Tell me that was deleted for you. Yes, it was. You'll probably pass by then. I hope you'll pass by. You might have already committed to coming in here. What's your explanation? You want to play Ticket to Ride? Never played that. It seemed a bit too Germanic for me. You don't need service, so you're not going to go in there. I need you to get out here. Yeah, man, look at that clogging up. That's uh, considerably worse than I thought. Maybe if I'm going to bake in service like that, I should have... I don't know, I hope they actually end up staggering more than they are, because this is causing, or going to cause, quite a big backup. Well, at least I can get rid of you. considerably slower than expected. This is why I wish I could have multiple of them and uh, then they will choose which one to go for. Alright, don't know if this is a problem that will solve itself or not, but the idea of you clogging up the whole system here is unpleasant. Ah, I'm sure it'll be fine. In they go, out they go. For the most part, seems to be working okay. I do, however, need to migrate you over because you're in a bad place for clogging up this line. So, although I said I wasn't going to change these, my eyes have been opened. And again, what's this? This is Lily. So I need to change out Lily Ritter. Add them here. Wait, is that Brussels? Yeah, it is Brussels train depot. Cool. Go there if need be and delete that. And again, that is impacting all the trains on the network because they have shared orders. Shared orders are good. Let's remove any evidence that I ever made that rookie mistake. I put that in the right place. Good. I put it in the wrong, wrong end. It looks actually quite empty. I could add a lot more trains onto this. However, there's no need to do so until these show a lot more passengers and mail. And they certainly will when I link them up to more uh, more areas, especially when those sea areas get uh, become part of it. Actually, a cheeky little thing I could do... 
Wow, there are a lot of people trying to move on this network. What I could do is have these Antwerps move down to Brussels, but I want to remake this entirely, so I won't bother. Caesar Free Soundtrack? That might evoke some dangerous feelings for me, so I'll pass on that for now. Right. Well, no sense stopping there. I want to link up another four stations. Again, I'm just doing it by four because I think if you make them longer than four with symmetric passengers, it gets overloaded like crazy. At least with this setup, they go to Almir and transfer on this giant um, transfer, and also they can go up by boat. So let's say let's say someone from Calais wanted to go to Hamburg. And I just had a long stream of a train line that went Calais, Brussels, Eindhoven, Almere, Anschad, Osnabrück, Brett, you get the idea. Those passengers from Calais are going to clog the network all the way until they get there, denying a lot of other people passage on that train. However, with this setup, they're only clogging it over to Almere. And from there, why, they could get a boat that heads over to Hamburg. Or they could switch over and start clogging the other network. But at least then it's not going to be quite so thick. At least I don't think it will. I could be dead wrong. But I want every terminus to be connected to the waterway. Or have a transfer that brings them to a waterway. Might be a lot simpler if it just always goes to a waterway. Still, the question is, what are the, th what are the uh, three towns that Almir is going to link up to? I'm kind of thinking... Um... Munster, Osnabrück, and Bremen. Bremen's kind of on the coast, could have a lot of boats flowing out to these other areas to connect up. And then Bremen could connect to Boomf, Hanover, Hamburg, and Lübeck. Lübeck will be a terminus. Lübeck, as I said, I intend it to be enormous. It's going to curl your toes how big Lübeck gets. Or so I hope. Classic Hanseatic city, Almer. Possibly. It is growing, I like to see that. This is definitely overkill, these trains are going to make a loss for a few years. Well, not as big a loss as I was expecting. Change this one's borderline, making a profit, but it's riding early, uh, riding empty. Riding dirty. Calais, why are you not growing? I really need you to grow. Is it possible that it's just not going to grow at all here because it can't generate a single passenger? Almir is in a lake. Almir is right here. Two houses only accept like seven out of eight packs, right? I think I'm going to have to grow Calais or else it's uh, dead. And it definitely has room to grow. I might build it some room to grow. One thing I'm thinking about doing is making the roads for the council already. Because that's going to make it a lot easier for me to link up a... Um, a road network for them. I might need to move in some goods and stuff. Heavens knows. Doo -doo. So there we go. Kelly has the ability to grow out here. But we'll help it out. As I said, I'm only using this for dead towns. And Kelly looks pretty dead after what I did to it. There we go. Pretty expensive for early in the game, but at least now they're going to build some buildings and generate passengers. The only way to really go bankrupt in open TTD is to go AFK for 200 years and let all your vehicles go obsolete. There we go, Calais now actually accepts passengers so it can it can actually grow organically now. While we're at it, Calais, I'm going to build a statue of myself. It's popped up here. And uh, statues should be built in every town because they, build, they add 10% satisfaction to all the ratings and ratings Get more passengers, more mail, more goods, more growth. It's all good. Isn't access to the sea blocked for Almir? Yes. But we have a few ways of dealing with that. I could just terraform through, or I could build a couple locks. I know I was talking earlier about how I don't want to destroy the scenery and things, but come on, these are the Dutch. Sometimes they just gotta go. Canal through the... Dyke. There we go. Easy peasy. Yeah, we'll connect Almir later on, but I need these towns to grow a bit first so they actually become worthwhile uh, connecting up. And, you know, turn a profit. Must be some mods to make money 
well, make the economy a bit more challenging in this game, but challenge, <laughs> challenge I don't think is the aim of the game here, at least not money challenge. The challenge is in defeating the problems that you create for yourself. <laughs> not the Asphaluge Dyke economy, yeah, there's some settings for that. Just flood all me your problems though. Oh right, good point, good point. Uh, so my ideal situation is that every session, that might be quite a lot, but periodically we're going to decide on a city that we're going to erase from the map. Um, and we're going to put it up between London and Berlin. London is an easy target, it's a bit punching down, but I know there's some deep-seated dislike for, uh, for Berlin in this community. So, I'm going to let you choose which one we completely destroy. And we'll give you plenty of time, so... Which... well, maybe not. Three minutes will do. Which city gets removed? London or Berlin? And later on we'll do votes between stuff like Helsinki, St. Petersburg and whatnot. And do you want to use vote swingers on it? Oops, no skin off my nose. Did they stop the ability to add votes with um, with bits? I'm not seeing it anymore. Not that it uh, makes any odds to me. Can we do London twice? In a way, whatever uh, city gets chosen will be done twice, but that'll make more sense later on. Berlin, the decadence must be eradicated. You say that, but a lot of people are backing the destruction of London right now. I'll have this shown on stream so that future generations can appreciate the decisions made here today. In the meantime, I can start planning our expansion. As I said, I want Almir to Munster. Munster's right out in the open and ideal for setting this up. But what I'm going to do is create a bit of space for myself over here. That might have made me too unpopular with the people of Munster. Oh no, no, they still like me. It's good. Wow, a lot of love uh, for Berlin! Apparently, the Germans of the community wouldn't dare see their capital erased from the planet. I never knew you were so sentimental about the place, but uh, we're always learning new things around here, aren't we? Right, there we go, there is Munster. As I said, Munster's going to link up with Bremen. I already have Bremen set up. Very good forward thinking by Jake. I do want it to be slightly larger though, but you can easily just... I love the fact that you can just add more lanes to a station there. Just one more lane, brah, I believe is how the saying goes. So you're going to come out along, ignore all the farms and coal mines, and come straight into here. not noticing any immediate problems with my setup, so I am pretty thrilled about that. Alright, as we reach the halfway point, we're also pretty halfway on the votes. The Berlin Destruction Force has come out in earnest. Not sure it'll be enough, though. A lot of people want to see London removed. I wouldn't be so extreme as to say I'd want London removed. I just never want to go there again. Very unpleasant place. I know there are people that love London because there's always something to do there, but my favourite thing to do in London is leave. I think I've been to London twice now, and I do not ever intend on making it a third. Sometimes there's just too much in the world. Jake, I just tested a vote with point purchased votes. It still works for me at least. Hmm. Perhaps I angered the Twitch gods. Now normally, in the case of a tie, third place wins. In this case, there is no third place, so third place will be double destruction. Both London and Berlin getting removed from the map. Just throwing that one in at the last moment so people can't uh, strategically make their votes there. It's just how we roll. But London will be getting removed from the Hansa. I believe it was actually a Hanseatic city, but here it's just going to be a wreck. There we go. I'm not going to check on who did all the um, who did all the votes there. It'd be a bit too flow breaking when I'm busy trying to make my connections here. Right. Oh, Munster's going to have to make their way over here as well. Steel girders for the short ones, pretty please. 
And I, I love this so much, it's unreal. Just something about this game. A masterpiece. Is it a masterpiece? Yeah, I'd say it's a masterpiece. Many games have attempted to do this and improve on it. In my opinion, they've all failed. Perhaps I haven't played them all, but that's okay, I can be biased like this. Right, out we come from Almere. Now there's doubtlessly Dutch people in the community. Perhaps they could give us some fun facts about Almer, because I know nothing about it, didn't even know it existed until today. But then, maybe some Dutch people feel the same way. I don't feel like it's a place that makes the headlines. Right, how far out can we get before we start running into problems with these farms? Relatively far out. Yeah, we have you come out just a bit more. Can we go along here? The first house in Almere was built in 1976. It wasn't even around in Hanseatic times. Well, as I said, there is a level of arbitration in what we're doing here. A bit of, it is, a bit of it is map painting. So even if it's not a Hanseatic town, if it's within the, if it's surrounded on all sides by Hanseatic cities, then it's going to be added in as a, as a Hanseatic place. feels a bit uh, childish to turn our nose up at, say, Osnabrück saying, no, 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 I know all your neighbours are linked up, but you can't be. Besides, it's going to add something to the challenge if we need to make service routes and transfers that look to all the little guys. And those little guys won't be little guys for long. Growth in this game can be really rather fast. Checking out Calais, right? We've got 196 population there. They're actually, whoa, 48 passengers desperate to get away from Calais. Now, they don't have a lot of options right now. They can go to Eindhoven, Brussels, or Almere. But soon they're going to have, well, soon. Eventually, they're going to have about 100 different places to go. And they will go to those 100 different places. So I need to make a fairly rigorous network. The line has now become profitable. Although it's definitely saturated with trains. It's okay, though. That'll be fixed. Uh, I... We'll link this all the way up to Lübeck, and then I'm going to start linking in these smaller towns. I figure this episode, if you will, it will be about conquering northwest Germany and the lowlands. Also, after I've built my train network over to Lübeck, I'm probably going to be a bit sick of building trains and want to switch it up for a while. Can oh, jeez, I made the mistake again. I need to remember, terminals don't, uh, don't need all this coming in. Ridiculous. Jinx, I, I am going to constantly forget that as well. Right, uh, that means coming in here, I want you up the center bit. So I actually want something like... that. Easily changed. So now you come up along in here and all I really need to do... Did I want all these linked together? Yeah, probably. Probably. It's just so elegant. How are these tools so good? The mind, the mind boggles, really. How did they make such good tools for this? Might be a bit of a problem. This terminus is actually only six, uh, six wide. When I made Calais, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. But this is a terminus transfer. I wonder if I actually have the capacity to build it out bigger. No, then we're going to run into real problems over here. We'll deal with the six terminus and uh, roll with it. Of course, now things need to come back out. But at least they're coming out the right way. I don't need to do any jiggery-pokery with going over or under or anything like that. The problem, if you will, is this. What's a man to do? Terraforming feels wrong. Maybe if I build it from the other direction, something will inspire me. As I said, in this game you solve problems that you create for yourself. I really like that. I'm thinking we could actually move over to Almir. 
Sorry, Almir, you don't get that road. I'll actually build a bit of infrastructure for Almir to work with. Although this is probably going to cheese off the local authorities something fierce. They hate having all their stuff destroyed. Yeah, man, I'm facing a very Dutch problem here, aren't I? I need a place to go. <laughs> go away. Right, what I could do is have everything link up to a couple of roads that come out and then swing around over here. Yeah, that sounds reasonable. So wouldn't that come up like so? Oh god, that's hideous in its own in its own way. Ah, right, there's a part of the problem. I need uh, signals coming out of this, so no matter how you cut it, they all need to come out by one. Right, now that you're here, I need you to cross over a wee bit. Can we do this? Can we do this? And then let's just get you a cheeky little bridge over here. <laughs> sorry, Almir. Not sorry, Almir. And then we're just gonna cut our way through the city like a monster. God, I'm feeling more Dutch by the minute. Where's Anne Frank? I need to, uh, I need to let the German authorities know. Now I know how you're feeling. You're feeling a mix of emotions. Disgust. Envy. That's good. Oh, that's good. Sucks to be the people that were living in this lovely, serene seafront cottage, and they've just got all this Hanseatic trains that are about to pass by and honk their horns for the hell of it. If you did that to the real city, you would improve it, says Warcall. Yeah, I've been waiting on these facts about Almir. All we've got is its founding date. Surely you can do better than that. Come on, guys. Richt. Let's uh, carry on Adam Munster over to Bremen. Yeah, the terminuses are probably the most complex thing to be building here. Otherwise, a lot of straight lines. I'm grateful that this map isn't too cluttered. The UK map that I was playing before, oh my goodness. So, how did I do it? I took a screenshot at like this zoom level and I went, okay, three cities you can see in this zoom level. That's fine, bit unfair because we've got water there. There are three here. There are some bits that are tighter. Uh, yeah, here, for example, we got four. I swear there was a really... T oh, yeah, yeah. Out here we have, like, six. You could easily have 12 or 14 uh, cities on that UK map. And it's just... It's too cluttered. It's just too much. The game's about building infrastructure, and with that amount of clutter, you just can't appreciate what you've built. Not to mention, the cities don't grow the way I'd like them to there. They kind of meld into each other. But the game has no mechanical way of handling cities that uh, meld into one. You can't get something like a London that just absorbs surrounding cities and ends up making them districts. Which I'm just assuming is what happens. I don't, I don't know my stuff well enough. Uh... Yeah, sure. Did I really want... I missed something, didn't I? No, perhaps not. Almir, to Munster, to Bremen. Is this really how I wanted to go? I didn't want to make Hamburg the big uh, terminal, I wanted to make Lübeck. Actually, you know what? Having Hamburg be the terminal and have a dedicated Hamburg-Lübeck line might not be the worst idea. Then they can both be terminals with a dedicated transfer. That makes a world of sense, actually. Then I can even do it by boats over the... Oh my god! Oh, oh, oh. 
Whoa, that made something stir in the loins. Right. Uh, Hamburg, you're going to need to be repositioned here, possibly. Because I definitely want you set up for a keel canal. Meaning I need you... Cl no, well, actually, no. I could bring the keel canal across here. And then link you up. Okay, so that's kind of fine where you are now, but you are going to have to be rather huge. Alright, great. So Bremen's heading down to Hamburg. How big do we want Hamburg, anyway? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Two spread. The problem is this is Hamburg Central, and Hamburg Central involves this. So I have a solution to that. It's not a very nice one, though. Tramway, and this is going to destroy my train station, isn't it? Oh, it didn't. Cool. thought for sure it did. Maybe it's just the destruction tool that does. Now Hamburg Central is much less spread out. Also, we can't have you blocking uh, progress here. Maybe I should pause the game lest they grow a bit too much. Can you turn trees back on for a second? I want to see how the trains look going through a forest. Yeah, sure thing. I have them permanently set to completely transparent here. But we can turn that off just for you. There is something really rather picturesque about this. I'll even let you see it in motion. The game doesn't really penalize you much for keeping the game running and ignoring stuff. But look at that. Imagine being on that train. Running through, you get to see all the forest by your side. Oh, it looks utterly picturesque. This is still backing up more than I'd like. I wonder if I can do anything about that. I don't think I can unless I make different orders. Which is certainly possible. Or I could just make a larger area here to come out and see to these. Hmm. Almir hosts an international flower exhibition called the Floriade. The unforeseen deficit of the event is projected to be about a hundred million euros. <laughs> okay, I think we've seen enough trees. Away they go. Uh, Alright, now we're going to have road vehicles in Hamburg have wrong orders. But you know what? I have a solution to that. It's called... No more road... Service... Uh, servicing? Yeah, no more road services for Hamburg. Everybody has to go to depot. They will be destroyed. Hamburg will no longer have a tram network. Because everything must be destroyed in the face of progress. Progress in this case being trains. Two, three, four, five, six. Now this is difficult. I kind of need you to come out and... In, in a way, I don't actually like the direction you're going. You're going to be a terminus, so... Screw it! Actually, is there a way to delete you? I swear there's like a drag and drop... Wow, I can't believe that works. Hamburg Central will no longer exist as soon as this train is done. This is going to hurt Lubeck's growth considerably, but all trains that are on here go to the depot. Being able to delete individual stations, now that is hardcore. Also, these are going away. Right, so I'm reckoning Bremen Woods can come along here and into Hamburg this way. I can uh, rejig things for when I build the canal, but the canal will come much later on. For now, though, we're going to have four in this way. How is it going to arc back out and around, you might ask? You ask too many questions. Ah, there's space for it there, and even space for Hamburg to grow with it, so... There, oot, there. Did that grow as much as I wanted it to? No, I actually missed a spot. Uh, that's fine though, because this stuff can go away. The game is probably yelling at me about invalid orders and things. Road Vehicle 10. 
Ah, yes, yes, of course. Well, let's just get rid of all those notifications. And get rid of that train. And get rid of that train. All for progress. Yeah, I really should be running the game paused here. Hamburg transfer. No, this is the new Hamburg central. Actually, transfer makes a lot more sense as a name. It's not going to be that central. Still, though, all main train stations will be called central. I'll probably use the terminology of transfer later on for something or other. The makers of Rollercoaster Tycoon make this game? That is correct. Really, it's down to a genius individual by the name of Chris Sawyer. God-tier programmer. This is one of the most lightweight games you're ever going to see in your life. Two, three, eight. So six for the incoming here. But then what about the other ones that come in? What are we to do with them? Because I'll probably want a transfer that reaches up north as well. It's going to be a hell of a busy transfer for Hamburg and Lübeck. Still though, in they come. And then do I really want them arcing back out and around here? Da -da, da -da, da -da, da -da. Difficult questions need difficult answers. Um, if I don't make the space for this now, I'm going to regret it forever. Do, 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 do. Yeah, it would be kind of nice if they curved out this way, especially with the way they're going, but that means destroying a lot of Hamburg. Hamburg would not be thrilled. But you know what? Hamburg just needs to cope with the situation. We'll remove their tramway. We'll, well, actually, I should remove all of their tramway right now. The Age of Tram will come later, but for now it's standing in the way of glorious progress for the railways. Even your roads, Sunshine, they gotta go. Hopefully the local authority doesn't hate me too much for deleting their precious roads. Uh, this thing's gotta go. Bang! So we're gonna have this arc out, and it's gonna need this space right about here. So you are bye, bye, bye. Hamburg will not be happy. Um, ooh, well, surprisingly happy. Probably because I've served with them so well for so long. Hamburg Central now doesn't actually touch Hamburg. Um, that's okay, we'll have ways to expand it. I will probably just give it a uh, an extension here with a road and uh, mail thing. But that's okay, Hamburg will grow to encapsulate more of Hamburg Central. For now, though, I will need these places coming out and merging into one. Mm, three and three. Well, that doesn't give me much to stretch out here, but I will likely stretch it out because I will want you to connect to others. Will I, though? Think about it more logically. I might actually be fine with Hamburg Central like this. But then, how are we going to link up these guys? I'll surely want North um, North Denmark to come together. No, actually, why would I want them to come to Hamburg by rail? I can connect them up by rail to a dedicated port and ship them out. People of Denmark are much more suited to be moved around by boat than anything else. Despite some people's lack of love for boats in this game, I like boats, and once I'm done with this rail setup, I'll be spending quite a bit of time looking into what to do with the uh, the naval network I have. It definitely needs to be fixed up. I made some questionable choices previous, and I'm keen on rectifying them. Okay, so people come into Hamburg and come out, they even come out the right way, but now I need to connect it up with Bremen. Da, 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 da. And then there's these two. What do I do? I even want to keep you guys around. I don't know, but I feel like I'm going to regret it if I don't keep the option for funneling people or something into Hamburg. 
Oh yeah, of course, the dedicated connection with Lubeck. Just, uh, yes, of course, of course. Although I did say I wanted to do that by, um, by Kiel Canal. We could also do it by, uh, by rail. Right, we'll keep our options open then. That sounds really cool, the more I think about it, actually. Bye-bye, bye-bye, goodbye. Tram in the way. Not anymore, it's not. Look at that hotkey usage. I know you're jealous. I know I am. Right, did I make this huge? I did. Then let's just connect it round. Easy peasy. Yeah, I want you to come out here and round like so. Why does this feel wrong? I can do it like that, of course. You, however, should come together like that. It's more of a big deal for you. Uh, no, can't have 90 degree turns. Jake hates 90 degree turns. The only reason he has them enabled is so that trains that get lost can actually find their way. Although, with my setup, trains should never get lost. They basically go around on a glorified loop. A donut, if you will. Right, there we go. So I'm not going to use this part yet, but I have it there for if and when I need Hamburg to do a connection, which it may well do with Lubeck. And since it's already part of Hamburg Central, it doesn't need to be a trans... Well, they will transfer, but I don't need to transfer between stations. I like it. I like it a lot. It will be the greatest success of the Hansa. I'm a little saddened. Actually, I'm rather a lot saddened by the fact that... Uh, oh, crap. I'm doing this the wrong way again, haven't I? They all need to come in the same area. Mm. I'm sure future Jake will appreciate the efforts present Jake is making. I'm not sure about that Chumro. He seldom does. He's really ungrateful. Right, I need to think about the approach coming in from Bremen. As I said, once we link up uh, this whole thing over to Lübeck, yeah, it needs to link up to Lübeck. I don't want Hamburg being the largest city. Lübeck should be the largest city in the Hansa. Was that ever the case? I mean, Lübeck was responsible for a lot, but I don't understand it. Like, modern-day Lübeck isn't that incredible a city in terms of sheer populace. come out just a wee bit more. I need to need to make these come out more when I build them. Right, best way over to Hamburg. We're entering this way, but I don't want to just go straight along and down because this term that I've newly discovered, this uh, Manhattan distance, is a real thing. That seems better. Just uh, moving diagonally is surely faster. A little less convenient for building, but... Speed is dosh. Jake, in general, trade has shifted from the Baltic Sea to the ocean, so Lubeck lost importance. I gather that much, but at the time, was Lubeck truly a megalopolis of its age? I don't think so. I recall reading up about the population levels of Lubeck, but like most knowledge that entered my life, I swiftly forgot it. We're going to need a few... Uh, Bridges here. One here, one here. Yeah, it should be fine. Ew, different kinds of bridges. Also, wrong kind of bridge there, but what's a man to do? This is filling me with disgust. Also, why are my bridges no longer see-through? Ah, right. On transparency options, if you want something to remain transparent as part of your thing, click on them. Uh, wait a second, I did that completely wrong. There we go. Now, even when I press X to make other things uh, see-through, 
the settings that I have for keeping uh, trees completely see-through, having my um, stations always visible, and having the bridges always be transparent will always remain. Love it. So many little things like that. It's, in it's incredible the work put into this game. I am truly in awe of the creators. I suppose of the game, but also of... Um... Oh, there we go, let's just all build these the same kind of uh, bridges here. Truly in awe of the creators of the base game and the people that have worked on maintaining it through Open TTD for all these years. Splendid work. Right, first things first, let's secure our exit. Sharp corners like that impact speed. Unfortunately, I don't care. Trains are fast enough. I hear the people that really work on maximum throughput models for this game disable breakdowns. Shouldn't be possible to feel so much disgust for a person, but there you go. I feel like I've missed a trick here. Yeah. We're meant to be connected like so, and like so. Pretty sure we have some redundancy, like you, and you, and you. Alright, now everybody coming in, you can go right, left, right, left, right, and down. Splendiferous. Hmm, don't know why that felt like such a pain to make compared to the others. Right. This feels a little too wide. I don't, I don't like the idea of having all this excess space here. So I might just tighten you up a fair bit. Excelente. Okay, looks great for going terminus to terminus, but we have some problems to solve. So, okay, we'll solve them after doing signaling. So, don't need signals coming out. Oh, what the hell? It's barely a cost. Always have signals facing into the station. You will have redundancies, but at least you won't have horrible accidents. We'll do that in all stations before moving along. Now you might be thinking, my god, is Jake going to be doing this for every single city in the game? The answer is no. There's going to be one main train line that stretches from Calais to Novgorod. Uh, there'll be an auxiliary system, probably a loop that goes around Sweden, and then that gets latched into from uh, parts of Norway and maybe Denmark. And there's certainly going to be a strip that comes down the east coast of Britain, but the main one is Calais to Novgorod. It's the one that feeds into these terminuses with boat networks and trams that go and uh, eat up passengers and mail and valuables and goods from all the other places. But the one main train line that sees all this TLC is Calais to Novgorod. Can the game handle those levels of perfect? There is no perfection in this game. Everything grows infinitely. Now that might just be me uh, making excuses. I'm sure if somebody put a lot of thought into it, they could calculate the absolute maximum output of everything and the equilibrium that could be reached for making the largest cities. But even that, as I understand it, the game has uh, randomization to growth and shrinkage. Even if something has very high satisfaction, it could still shrink a bit. I think overall it'll trend up, but in the end your perfection would be shaky at best. No channel? I don't... Th uh, uh. Can this game even model a channel? Because sea level is the very bottom part. So you can't go lower than the sea. I can't lower this land. And if I raise this land... There. So if anybody knows how to do a channel... Channel being the channel tunnel, I'd like to know. Don't worry about this as we unpause the... C will reclaim what is rightfully its. You can lower it below sea level on land, I beg your pardon. 
No, no I cannot. We cannot go below sea level. Yeah, I think, uh, I think our ability to channel is out the window. But if somebody knows how, please tell me. I'd love to build up a channel tunnel. I mean, Jing's uh, Stockholm is full of miniature channel tunnels. It's impressive how they get the subway going between all the islands. People are surprised. Well, again, maybe we're wrong. Maybe there is a way to do it, and I would love to hear it. Right, we've got a train network to build, and they need signals. So let's try our best to do them correctly. You'll be coming out this way. And you will be going along towards that. There we go, goody goody. Out this way. And toward, I love how long this road is by the way. Oh, this could represent something of a problem. Hmm. Because I don't have a straight bit here, I can't put a... I can't put a signal here, which means anybody coming out here is actually going to be clogged for a while. Especially if there's a crossover. Can we solve this disastrous problem? The answer is maybe. I will make smaller bridges. Those will allow for an extra bit of track. I'm gonna get rid of you, and I'm going to extend you out some. And then, just like that, all my problems are solved. God, I'm good. Let us carry on. Dokily dokily, this all looks good now. I'm open to suggestions from chat here. Clearly, my setup of forced stopping for uh, maintenance if needed is causing the lines to clog. What should I do? I can think of a solution or two. One is to make a, uh, an, a yeah, how would I best phrase it? Something of a queuing system for trains like so. A lot of disadvantage of that, trains are going to be wasting their time uh, queuing up for this, and it takes up a lot more space. Add a bypass lane. The problem is that this is already backing up all the way to here. So, I don't like train stacking, and I'm not convinced bypassing would work. Could you use the train tunnels for the English Channel like you use them in railway crossings? Could you use the train tunnel for the English Channel like you use them in... I don't think so. Because even if I lower this, the tunnel just pops out at that end. And there always has to be a slope going down into water. Yeah, I don't think it can be done, I'm afraid. But, again, if it's possible, I'd love to hear it. Uh, again, I don't like the idea of just littering this with service depots either. Jake, only queue the trains to the first and last station. Tell them to stop at all stations on the way. And just build repair stations very often. They won't get into a mess. Queue the trains to the first and last station. Tell them to stop at all stations on the way. Build repair stations very often. But I don't want to build repair stations very often. I want... I want my trains to go in and service as needed. Make a land bridge, put in a tunnel, lower the land bridge again. Essentially don't use non-stop. Uh, maybe you weren't here when I mentioned it, but a problem I found with this kind of setup is, let's say you have a train going from Calais to Brussels, and it's going bum 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 and it's just about to enter Brussels, and it goes, hold on. I need to service. Then what it does is it doesn't stop at Brussels, it carries on to get to the next place that it can service. Let's imagine it can service here, blum -de blum It comes out and goes, ooh, I'm all nice and serviced. Now I need to go back to Brussels. And then it goes all the way around 
until it gets to Brussels, and then it goes, oh, my next stop is Eindhoven, and then it goes all the way around to Eindhoven. And I hate that. Now, I could solve that by allowing trains to turn around at any point, but I similarly despise that as an option. Based on screenshots, Chris Sawyer's Locomotion 2004 is a bit more advanced water options, different sea levels. Yeah, but it isn't open TTD. It doesn't have the massive love and fan following. Right. What do I do about my little issue here? My trains are so long that they clog up the lines with trying to get those services. Only put Calais and the last station on the list. Don't put Brussels there. Is it going to stop at Brussels and Eindhoven if I do it that way? If a train misses a stop, but it's trying to go to the next station non-stop, then it's fine. Your problem is the non-stop orders. You're going to have to spell this out a bit more, Alpha. It's kind of flying over my head here. I would imagine if you just put Calais to Almir, then they would just go through Brussels. They surely wouldn't stop at it, right? Okay, trains on non-stop ignore. All your train orders are non-stop, so they're not all in non-stop, are they? Oh, wow. Why is non-stop on? I don't remember turning non-stop on. Hmm. I mean, I know I turned non-stop on for the train depot, but uh, when did these become non-stop? It puts them non-stop on by default. Interesting. Interesting. Hey, that would work quite well now, wouldn't it? I would need a bit more service stations than I have here, but probably not too much, too many. Hmm. All right, let's uh, let's give that a go then, shall we? So that means we would want to turn off the service stations and then turn off these uh, turn off these non-stops. Really though, non-stop on by default? I don't recall any of that. Oh, you said it doesn't need to have any of the ones on the end here, right? So we could just have it like so. So it just goes Calais to Almer, and if it desperately needs a service, it will pop off and grab one. I assume en route. I hope en route, because I don't have any other options for it. Tell you what, I'm going to watch them do this. I'm also going to save my game because, well, I haven't saved since we started here. It's already been a couple hours, that is not right. Okay, let's see how they do then. Preferably find one that's starting to break down a bit and needs service. Is 80% low enough? I will watch the 80% one train four for a wee bit then. So, it does actually load and unload coming through here. You may still need one more repair station or so. I can dig it. I had no idea that you could do this. I thought you had to tell them to stop at every station. It does bother me a bit that non-stop is the default, so I'm going to need to remember to turn that off. Right, you clearly don't think you need a service. Can I change this interval? I don't think you can change the service interval in anything other than the main settings. But that's okay, 120 days will pass soon enough. So, you go here. You... Uh, didn't pick up anything. Why didn't you pick up anything? I guess they just don't want anybody from Calais, even though they're saying they want to go to any station. Non-stop makes sense for pa uh, cargo, but not passengers. Mm hmm, of course. Right, we're still watching 2024. We want to see how it handles uh, a desire for fixing. It does stop in Brussels and grabs very few people. Actually, just mail. Is there nobody to pick up here? Look at all these people that want to go. 
Oh, they all want to go to Calais? That's kind of weird, but okay. Why does everyone want to go to Calais and no one wants to go to Eindhoven? Oh, well, they're being picked up, so no biggie. It might mess with cargo dist. It absolutely is messing with cargo... Yeah, because now they don't think that Eindhoven and Brussels are destinations, so nobody wants to go there. Ah, that's not good. I can't have... Uh, I can't have Alpha's system then. Which is a shame, because it looks like it works really well. Do I have another option that isn't non-stop? Yeah, because it's no longer... No, well, these people want to go, but I think they're just lingering from being generated before. Well, maybe. Brussels want to go to Eindhoven. Eindhoven and Dalmer. Oh, this might work. Brain 24's reliability is really going down. You gotta stop and fix someday. You're not going for your fixing just yet, though. There we go. Picking up loads of people from Eindhoven. Wait, they wanted to go to. Yeah, they want to go to Brussels. Okay, I actually think it is rejigging itself. I don't think Cargo Dist is... Well, God, why do we only have people who want to go to Kelly? Ah, because you've already picked up all the people who wanted to go elsewhere. Or maybe somebody else has. It's kind of weird, though. Something... Something seems weird. Why would everybody want to go to Kelly anyway? It's not the largest uh, place around. Hmm. I don't claim to have the answers. But we'll, we'll see if this works, because it would be great if it did. Besides, I'm sure if it was an issue, people would know about it and have it fixed. I can't believe you're not going for servicing yet, though. You are... Knocking on heaven's door. Love seeing that income, though. Even just for passengers and mail. Come on, you gotta fix yourself someday. You're long past your service interval. When are you, when are you gonna go for a fix? <laughs> <laughs> it's been ages. Not that I mind, I love watching this kind of stuff. I really need to turn off news articles at some point, I don't care about these new buildings. Last service was in May 68, it's now June 69. Where is your servicing? Ah, you moved to the outer path? Oh, no, you didn't. Hmm. You decided not to go there? Hmm. As someone said, this is called implicit orders. I trust Cursori that it works. Eindhoven wanted to go to Almere, Brussels... Brussels wanted to go. Okay, I'm I'm gonna trust that it's working fine. But I want to see this train get serviced, because I'm worried. The last service was over a year ago and it's meant to service three times a year. I'm looking at the right one. It's train twenty seven. I want train twenty four. Train twenty four is falling apart. God damn it man, go and he still refuses to service. You can even see the implicit orders in the order list once they run it. It should work, yep. Yeah, why is it not servicing? Trains are only willing to go so far for servicing. It's on the inner track, and depots are on the outer track. Might not have enough foresight to move for the outer track. Yeah, but there are plenty of cases where it has uh, all the... Look, it was already on the outer track. Oh, well, no, no, this is moving to the outer track. Are you going to move for servicing? No, for God's sake. Ah, maybe what you're saying is that's too far away for it to want to move over for it, if it's not being forced to do it. Because this thing is definitely long past when it should have gone for a service. Hmm.
let's give it a much closer option here, shall we? Can't put that there, but I can put that there. Clog up the line something. You know, I'll, I'll make it a little bit further along so it doesn't clog everything up too badly, but... design actually. Come now, these must be solved problems. Oof, that's a 90 degree turn. We don't like those. Uh, tell you what though, I could actually do it like so. That way, if one of them is leaving out here, they can still go into the other one. Let's see if it decides to go in for a servicing, which it desperately needs. Which train were we on? I don't think it was 27, but it's good to see someone's going in for a servicing now. Train 2 and 1, perhaps. The inner station is a trap. You mean this one? Why is that a trap? Can't you put the service at the very end of the service line on the straight bit? Let me put them out here. Don't know what you're getting at. It's troublesome though that they can't... Uh... They're gonna clog up the lines is what I'm getting at. That doesn't bother me. Yeah, between Calais and the sea. But then that clogs up everybody that wants to leave the station. Yeah, the fact that they can't see that far ahead is irksome. Hmm. All right, let's let's see what can be done. Everything's breaking down on this route, but I shall attempt to fix. For one, I don't like this. Hopefully, nobody's inside. Again, solving those problems that I make for myself. Starting to feel like ordering them to go to the stations if need be was uh, was better, because at least then they actually went for them. And if I move them forward, we would just clog up worse. So yeah, maybe actually keeping the orders is better. I feel like I'm actually solving a problem that uh, was less of a problem than what we've ended up with right now. Right now, they need to go outside to find the main service station. Maybe put service stations on the main line, make the outside a bypass, in case of clogging. I see what you mean. Yeah, because currently they have to change their mind to go for it. I like it, I like it, okay, okay. Use that thing on your head and think, Jake. That means we're destroying all of the existing ones. Hopefully people aren't using them right now. See, this is why I set it up for one line and observed it before building all my other lines. Something about a measure twice, cut once, but in this case it's more like prototype, prototype, then cut several times across the entire Hansa. So if these are going to be the bypasses, then I want the main line to have this now. How's it going to have it? He's thinking, he has an idea, it's a bit of busy work, but... But, but, but... No, no, not long enough. Hopefully they have enough forethought to 
figure this one out. Um, I will be deleting you, lowering you, und you, and doing this as part of the bypass. And then I can have my service station right there. Then if things truly clog up, they can move over. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five. Six. Well, you stop here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then you move over. Okay, that actually works quite well. Well, I think that works quite well. You tell me if you think this is barbarism. And we'll have it be symmetric, because otherwise some people get mad at me. Not that that's really much of an issue for me, but let's try to be nice. These are meant to be nice streams. Despite the very militaristic stronghold music playing right now. Do trains go into the maintenance bay if they don't need maintenance? Nope, they just zoom on right by. You can force them to, actually. If I got rid of that, everybody going along this route would be forced to go in for maintenance, but I'd rather they just figured out if they needed to go or not of their own accord. You can't actually connect up there because of those signals, so bye-bye signal. I don't want to be... I don't want to connect the inner line up to this because of reasons. I don't like uh, train lines crossing other train lines. I feel like that just introduces um, slowdowns for no good reason. That should be okay. This doesn't really solve the problem of trains on other lines not having the foresight to see a service station. Well, now they don't have to choose to go on another line to visit a service station. Now what they can actually do is uh, they'll be by default on this line and then they go, Ooh, I need a service and go in for one. And if somebody's coming along and, oh, my line is blocked, they can take the bypass. I think this does solve the problem. I suppose there's something to be said for the fact that... Uh, if people stay on the inner line the whole time, they're not going to get on this, but I'm sure they'll eventually end up on outer lines for one reason or another. I have faith. Perhaps misplaced faith. Right, that means I need... Oh man, there's a lot, lot of remake in this stuff then, isn't there? The inner lane is a bit of a service desert now. I could do the same thing, but... Why don't I do it on the outer lane here, and the inner lane here shouldn't be undoable. Well, because there's not much of a choice to uh, move where you're on, but let's do this anyway. Let's... Are you the right place to ravage? You are not the right place to ravage. You are the right place to ravage. Think harder, Jake. Think a bit harder. Alright, we'll do this then. Don't want to think too hard now. So now the inner bit gets service on this side. There's no bypass here though, but I could do a similar thing right about here. you down a bit, tunnel you, I feel like I'm creating complex solutions to less than complex problems here. So now, if you're on the inner line over here you can get serviced, and if you're on the outer line over here you can get serviced, and both can be bypassed. If this starts clogging, if this clogs, I mean, you could just move over here to begin with. Alright, you know what? Let's see if this works. Do they not disable breakdowns by actually servicing the trains? It doesn't disable, it just makes it less likely. The, more, the longer a train runs, the more that reliability goes down, and the reliability causes more breakdowns, like just there. And we're seeing a lot of breakdowns here because none of them have been servicing in forever. But now they will hopefully go and make use of these uh, service stations I've given them. Of course, you're, you're, oh wait, did I put both the service stations on the same place? No, I didn't. I didn't. I'm not that daft. You're bypassing it, but you're not, and then you go, oh, it's time for a service, and you go, 
and anyone behind you is surely going to be smart enough not to go into your track and take one of the many bypasses. Sweet, so now they are actually servicing. You didn't service, but your reliability is high. How about you? Also reliability high. I'm trying to look for somebody that's running with low reliability, but the fact that they all have high reliability is a great sign. You're going to go in for a service, groovy. I think we've just solved the problem without expanding the line in terms of size. Yeah, I don't want to pat myself on the back too hard, but it would be nice if somebody else did. Something like, wow, Jake, your genius eclipses that of modern man. Wish I had half the grey matter you do. It would be nice to hear. One day Jake will arrive at the obvious general solution, I'm sure of it. I mean, I'd, I'd love to hear it. This isn't a weekly one-shot or anything. I would like to learn to play this game exceptionally well. Look at that, it doesn't expand the size of the system at all. It doesn't even really expand the, um... on the signaling here, because this is still, what, it becomes a six size signal chunk instead of five? No biggie. Create a switch network at Long Straight where each track can cross up and down a lane every other square. Wondering if lane mathematics from City Skylines would work. A switch network at Long Straight where I, da -da -da -da. I think we're using words that are a bit too complex for me here. There we go, somebody else going in for their reliability and you're not getting clogged. Wait, it broke inside here? No wait, it got fixed, 98% reliability and broke when leaving. That's a bad sign. Still, I'm satisfied with this. How are they doing in terms of passenger saturation? Uh, for some reason, Brussels is chock full of people. But this is what I meant, the center um, station tends to... Oh, that's hideous. No, 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 no. We don't do that around here. Say no to 90 degree turns. They are an affront to railway building. Right, so Brussels gets busy, but they get picked up, so it's no big deal. Each of these can carry how many? Come on, there must be a total thing. There we go. Each of these can carry 360 passengers. Brussels generates 281 passengers a month. This line is sorted, and it looks like it can be expanded on massively. Maglev will be faster, newer trains will be faster, electric would be faster. And there's just so much space on this line for more trains. I love it. What was past Jake thinking the mat? What this? Well, okay, this is uh, giving an advanced mechanics tool set to a toddler here. I had to spend a bit of a rocky montage this weekend playing this game and uh, I did a lot of different things on the UK map just to see what different things did. I think a lot of uh, a lot of this can be intuitively inferred, but I certainly wanted to figure out this game big time. I feel like you would actually have an easier time, because you're going to be clogged if this guy takes this 100%. Then again, same would be if this guy took that, so I guess it's no real different from the other side. Ah, oh, I just love seeing this fully operational. Now, with the lessons we have learnt, we can work on our line that goes between Hamburg and Almere. I'm going to start by sorting out those, um, those service stations. I'm starting to wonder if we even actually need uh, the crisscrossing for this. If I just put them near the exits of the stations, they'll be able to very quickly decide, oh, I should get on this track because of da da da. Mm, so in that case I wouldn't need bypasses. I still think it runs a risk of clogging up the system though. 90 degree exit at Brussels eastbound. Brussels eastbound and down, loaded up and... You mean that? Yeah, that is hideous. They leave through this way, so I should just get rid of that, and that way you can go onto there or onto there, and everybody's happy, especially me. Wait, that isn't eastbound, that's westbound. This is eastbound. Loaded up and trucking. You should go out to there, which means that uh, stay, uh, signal needs to go. Now you can come out and choose both of those, you can come out and choose both of those, and you can choose both of those. 
Thank you kindly. As I said, I do not tolerate these. Um, I do not tolerate these. <laughs> 90 degree turns have no place on my tracks. How profitable these change running? Mm, 11 grand last year. That's not amazing, but they are relatively slow. Hopefully when things get mag levy and the desire for passenger transit grows, especially mail transit, it'll be all that better. Jake, do you know you can turn off 90 degree turns in the settings? I know, but I don't want to turn it off because it can help with situations where trains are completely stuck and you need to make a 90 degree turn just to get out of there. So I do keep it, we'll just fix it as we see it. Right, time to sort this track out with what it needs. How are we going to do that? Do I actually want bypass? I think I do want bypasses, right? It doesn't eat up that much space, and it's relatively nice and simple rather than clogging things up. So, 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 I'll do the... I guess I'll do both the outers here, because then they can easily uh, change their tune. I'm starting to wish I'd made my signal distance 6 so that I can do this a lot easier. In fact... From now on, I will have my signal distance be 6, because then it's going to be better set up for making these, and I think this is going to be a staple of design for this. Unless someone, you know, wants to say what the general solution is here. You know, is this like Factorio, where you don't need to experiment with splitters because there's already an optimal solution? Oh, but I won't tell you what that optimal solution is, that would be too much. People here aren't that monstrous, are they? Right, that's your way in, and you can just completely bypass that, like so. And that's fine, it doesn't need more signaling there, because the signal is either you can go into here or you can bypass it. I think that's fine. I think your solution is pretty neat, says Nami Blob, and Blobber says, Only you, Jake. Only you. That's a Scatman John song. He doesn't say only you, Jake, but it would be nice if he did. Just, what a bypass. What an incredible bypass. Thinking, wouldn't it look even more nice if we had this work on both sides? Because then what we could do is get rid of you for five. Was it five or six? Now I can't remember. Nope, five is fine. Ah, but then how does this bypass? I mean, it could bypass by just not going here. Build it and see what, uh, see what we think here. Right, so the new problem is that somebody's driving along here and they go, ah, oh, crap, someone's servicing ahead of me. What can I do? They could switch lane. I don't like that, though. Well, they could still switch lane, right? What's the what's the dealio? Let me try to overwrite it onto the flexible one on. So you can bypass that, and if you don't want to be part of uh, part of this, you're coming along and you go like, oh, that's disgusting. A uh, bit of a problem here, you can't actually move on to that because it's sloped down the ways. But earlier on, you could just go for the outer bit here and bypass it all, right? Oh, not like that, you can't. All right. What's the problem with this amazing solution? If there is one, I'm not seeing it. You're driving along here, and you have so many choices for servicing. You can come into here, or if that's all clogged up, you can go along into there. And if nobody wants any servicing malark, they can go around. Actually, I think the bypass is gonna get uber clogged up from all the people doing servicing here. I actually don't like this. I do not like the idea of putting the inner servicing here. No, nope, I don't like it. I don't like mixing them up like this. It uh, is going to clog up the system. I can feel it already. So, 
Let's not have this as amazing as it looked. It did look like a lovely closed solution. But I'm convinced it won't work. Means we don't need or want you either. Mm hmm. Then we need our signals back, don't we? Right, that does it there, then I'll want some innies as well. So I can just uh, I can just do much the same here. Let's see. Yeah, but how do we service the inner site? Surely I solved this problem earlier, right? I just managed to already forget what I did. Oh yeah, we already had the bypasses there. But what do we do here? Oh, I just plonked you on there. Without much, uh, much further thought. Eh, that's fine though. Do 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 do. Great music. Will I have it here? It's quite far from it all, but if it's in the center, the center is where people spend most of their time, right? So this will be fine. I've forgotten already. Are we doing any or outy? We're doing any. That was not what I wanted. We are doing guinea, is what I'm sure I just said. Thinking about it, I probably should have run with this for a wee while to make sure it actually works. Ah, I'm sure it's fine. A little far away from any kind of uh, changes though. Maybe I should have done it much closer to anywhere else. No, that's fine. If it if it backs up, then it won't be that much of a big deal because people on other lines won't be backed up. And I'm sure it'll be fine. No, no, I'm pretty sure it won't be fine. Maybe I shouldn't have that here, but much closer to here so that people can make their decisions elsewhere. Yep, 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 yep. Well, I'm looking forward to having all this connected up to Hamburg after all this jiggery pokery. Then I'll have to solve exactly how we connect that up with Lubeck, which will be a different story of its own. Uh... Am I signaling this the wrong way? Because I'll be traveling along this way. Ooh, now I've done it. Tell you what, just del delete it all, delete it all, remake it all, remake it all. Makes my life simpler, especially since now I've got the uh, the perfect spacing to go delete between these parts. And that lets me reduce you down here, und here, und tunnel here. Oh, this feels so clever. Again, I feel like people are holding out on me for a better solution. Maybe they just love my solutions too much. I know I do. Uh, these are actually on the opposite ends of where I want them to be. I forgot the direction these things are going, didn't I? Yeah, yeah, this one should have been up here and that one should have been down there. Oh, man. How did I confuse my which side driving here? Am I going to redo it again? I mean, simpler solutions just to have a little flick here so people can switch between them, but I don't like the crossing of uh, of trains like that. Alright, one last, one last redo. There it all goes. Even it out. There it all goes. And even it out. We'll get our lines back. Lines back. And let's just uh, purge these signals. 
and then make them right coming out that way out that way out from here and from here I knew something felt wrong so if you're coming out from here this is the best place to put this uh, servicing because then people can easily see and take their take their relevant bit from this turn which we expect anyway don't want to introduce turns down the track so they're forced to slow down even if I do eventually need a turn I'll probably do a clover leaf for my trains because I hate having train lines cross absolutely can I stand it Right, we'll get it done right this time, I'm sure. Are we servicing in here? <laughs> Outie, I've forgotten again. <laughs> right, we serviced Outie here, so we're servicing in here. It's okay, it's just brain problems. I've been too excited about playing this for the longest time. Speaking of, I don't actually need to delete that part. It's probably better if I don't. Servicing any and tunneling under. And I don't need to redo any of my signals because they were already set up. And then down hither. Ah, ah, ah. Don't need to get rid of that. We are servicing the guinea. And then we can go down, down. I love how easy it is to tunnel this, by the way. Must be a hotkey for doing this. Yeah, two. Okay took a bit, but I think we've got this sorted. It's not a lot of service stations, but I think it's going to be enough. If they desperately need to service, I'm sure they'll get what they need. I think over-service stationing is probably a flaw on its own. The issue you have, the issue with having depots right in the stations like that is that you'll exacerbate the skipping stations issue. Exacerbate the skipping stations issue. I think I see what you mean. Yeah, because the whole reason I um, yeah, the whole reason I had them set up the way I wanted to is so, so that they wouldn't skip the state. Oh man, now what? I could still tell them to go for these if and only. Mm. Don't worry about skipping stations. You have the power of implicit orders. Yeah, but don't they skip those when they? want to go for um, for servicing. So if they're going from Almir to, uh, well let's say they're doing their Almir to Hamburg, they go through, they go to Munster, they're fine, and then they're about to enter Bremen and they go, no, I must service. Then they skip Bremen, skip Hamburg, skip Bremen again, and then go for servicing. Hmm. Yeah, they will skip one station, maybe so what? They won't skip multiple. No, they definitely will. No, Ninja, there has to be a more elegant solution that isn't just spamming everywhere with service stations. Well, you know what? We will uh, we'll just activate the trains and see what happens. If it needs fixed down the line, at least it's a closed system to fix. So, let's get ourselves what we need here. Engine only. I like this UU. Then our passengers, passenger carriage up to length 5, and then mail carriage up to length 7. Why do I do it this way? Just seems to work and I roll with it. And you are just told to go to Almir and ah uh, ah uh, ah, uh, no non-stopping. Why does it like to default to non-stopping anyway? I built you in the wrong place, didn't I? Where did I just build you? Put you in this train depot so you're actually going to go out the wrong way. Easily solved. Let's just destroy you. This is where they are. They come out and they go to uh, Almir first. It's fine. I get all the fun of building this again. Engine UU. Passenger carriage up to five. Get our mail vans up to seven. And then you go Almir all the way over to Hamburg, non non stopping. We'll have you go, and we'll have you cloned. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Activate. We'll see how they do. You can turn off auto non stop in the set. Auto non. Uh, non stop. Good call. Is this going to cause any not uh, any issues down the line for me? 
Surely not, right? It's not often you have trains just pass through stations. If your trains are seven long, why aren't you setting distance signal to eight? That way a train fits inside a block. You bring up a good question, Mort. A good question for which I don't have an answer. I'll try it out. I've yet to feel particularly comfortable with any particular um, length of this. Alright, there's no one to pick up in Almir because they don't have their services registered yet, but they almost do. But there's passenger and mail to be had everywhere, except I suppose Hamburg's a bit of a problem. So I need to expand Hal uh, Hamburg. But that's easily done with a little jiggery pokery that I'm sure some people don't like. Hamburg Central and Hamburg Central. That actually captures a good chunk of the city. Could we get a bit more? Oh, well, we can. I won't use these and I'll certainly destroy them later on. But for now, they make Hamburg huge. Wow, I forgot I had an airport here. Just to repeat the main advantage of avoiding non-stop, they cannot drive through a station, so it's impossible to skip something except if you have a weird bypass. Well, we don't have a weird bypass. I just worry that uh, it's going to exacerbate the maintenance issue that I'm trying to solve in the first place. Seeing those trains go around. It's a shame I'm actually slow down with all this S-shaped snaking, but... We can cope with it. Why did you just go any there, by the way? Your reliability's fine, but maybe you are going for a service. Let's find out. He was indeed going for a service. The system works. By accident or not, we don't know. Not a big fan of this cross. Actually, did you stop because he was entering that? I don't like that. Maybe I'm using the wrong kind of signals for those crosses. I would have thought you could have still taken that straight ahead, but what do I know? Lack of timetabling means that Almir sits there without service for a bit of a while. Is Jake not using path signals? I think I was told to use um, one-way signals and I just went with them. If path signals are better, then sure. I just want a simple solution. I don't want to have to mix and match my signals, because I am no good at that. Allows more than one train to enter the signal block, if the train can reserve a path to a safe stopping point. Well, that seems fine, right? Don't know what the difference between that and a path signal is, though. One-way path is the correct choice. Why, thank you. Personally, path signals everywhere, but don't know any better. Yes, yeah, signals, signals are rough. Love to see you picking up. Wow, this train's making us a uh, hundred thousand euros a year now. It's certainly the heavy hitter. Maybe just it's the the first one that tends to make its way down here. But uh, the way I see it, I don't want to timetable with random breakdowns and stuff. Surely the trains will dissipate plenty enough. Service is good in Almir. Could certainly be better. Could always be better if they had a statue of me there. Now, you can't destroy statues, so be wary when you put them down. Almir's growth isn't amazing, but it'll pick up. More passengers coming out, more places to go, it'll be fine. Interesting, did I actually end up building any um, bypasses? Yeah, so I do a bypass if I service the outie. Which seems weird, like if I don't bypass the innie, why would I need to bypass the outie? I don't really. What could reasonably be done to create a bypass for them? I guess what I could do is make this even longer and lowered, and then have this go out and around like that. I might experiment doing that for the next uh, set of track that I do. But I like what I see. We have trains running a profit, helping these places grow. They're not growing right now, but they will when these suck up all these goods. Ratings improve, they get more. Tell you what, Bremen could really do with a statue of me. That'll up these ratings even further, getting more mail and more passengers to grow Bremen. Well, more, if at all. Because Bremen probably wants, yeah, they want coal or grain or iron or livestock or wood coming in to assist growth. But, they're not seeing to that. Is Calais growing? I hope to God it's growing. 
Kelly grows every 100 days. It's currently 164 pot. Got plenty of, well, not plenty of passengers. Passengers are coming in. It'll be a bit of a slow burn on the places growing. Once they hit 1,000, I'll be able to assist their growth by bringing in goods, like bringing in coal for their power station, if they want coal. I don't actually see what they would like, and I don't think we get to see that until they reach a 1,000 population. Brussels is. Brussels growth is severely stunted by not getting any coal, iron ore, livestock, oil or wood. But I'm not even sure if Brussels has any industry that would accept those, so I might be in a pickle. What I could do is fund a new industry for them, but I'm not going to bother with um, fueling industry things until we have everyone linked up that I want to. Okay. Two things I really want to do. One is to bring in these outlying cities into this network. And another is to establish naval dominance. Since I already did navy on the first stream, I think I will link these uh, stations in with the others. But I don't expect to use trains for a lot of them, although it would make a world of sense. Like, I could connect up to Calais and then snake through these with trains. But I, I like to think we could do this with, uh, with trams, right? This isn't about making the most efficient hands I've ever seen. So I'm going to start by taking all these trains that come here and send them to the depots. Same if there are any here. Any here that are on their own things? No. Yeah, there we go. Get to the depot. Did I miss someone here? Yeah, I did. Get into those depots. Did it just say it can't? Can't send to a depot, like you? All right, probably because they're in depots right now. I'm gonna find these depots and sell all these trains. The game's very generous with giving your money back. It just reduces the amount of money you get back based on how old they are. Okay, I am tired of getting spammed with these new things available. I might still keep them though, because it might be relevant at some point. Right, all this stuff we built, we're just going to trash it. I have no good reason for keeping this horrific setup any longer. It was there so I could experiment and learn, but all I learned was how little I know. It's still a very important lesson, though. Which means a lot of people need to be taught that, even me. Sometimes. But we're getting rid of this horrible, horrible route. Is there a way to quickly delete all the track along the way? Like, can I... Mm, no, I think you have to do it bit by bit. I swear there's a better way of deleting. Hang on, there is, isn't there? Delete tool, hold control, diagonal. So you can do it like that, then you can do it like that. Although that didn't quite work out. Oh yeah, oh hell yeah. They think of everything for this game. Absolutely everything. Didn't there used to be water here? Yeah, I feel a little bad for that. You can have your... You can have your water back. Train 16 has invalids. Where are you? Oh, well, I didn't even notice this little... Uh, little service depot there. I love the way the grass grows back on places that you demolish. It just looks so sweet and organic. Away you go, away you go. And with this shame gone, it's like it never happened. So we're not ever allowed to talk about the cursed setup between Derhan and Bruges. There's still an Antwerp Central here though. Still with people there, <laughs> not on my watch. There we go, we'll have absolutely no stations here. Alright, much better. Oh, I like the snaky tracks, says Nami Blub. <sighs> yeah, purge it from memory, and then I'll be a whole lot happier. I don't think the ratings are going to be that great, because there's never really trains waiting here. I'd have to absolutely saturate this thing with trains to... Uh raise those ratings that much higher, but they, they'll be okay because there's not tons of mail and passengers backing up. And if there ever is, we add more trains, and if we get to the point where there are not enough trains because they saturate the track, 
then we can mitigate it with buses and boats and trams and whatnot. Okay, speaking of buses, boats, and trams, we're going to link these guys up. How exactly? I'd like to try different methods. I will probably take Amsterdam and Alkmaar and feed them directly into Almer Central. Uh, how far do you spread? Okay, I think I should be okay to make a depot here for road vehicles to bring in Amsterdam and Alkmaar's people. I will do things a little differently for Antwerp, Bruges, Rotterdam and Der Haan, however. These guys will be pooled into a central road vehicle depot and the people that get pulled into there will be sent off by boat to Calais and Almere. Far less efficient than just shoving them onto the Brussels track, but I just want to do different things, and that seems fair. Oh, nobody said buses, Ninjin. I'll tell you what, Ninjin, if you seem to love buses so much, I'm going to use trams for one and buses for the other. Who gets the buses? Amsterdam and Alkmaar? Or Derhan, Rotterdam, Antwerp, and Bruges. Oh, I missed Utrecht there. Uh, Utrecht will be part of the Amsterdam grouping. Oh, speaking of which... Oh, thank God. Didn't want that blemish. Make a choice now, Ninja, or don't make it at all. Even until I'm done with this drink of water. Buses for the north. They're all north. Actually, doesn't this game have an idea of north, east, south, and west? I think the game considers this west. Which is weird, because it's... I guess it's kind of west. Anyway, north would be Almar, Amsterdam, so... Let's put our buses here. Which means we need a nice big bus set up for Almir. It's going to need to also do... Um... What's the word? Mail vehicles, mail trucks, mail something or other. Delivering letters. So, first and foremost, we need a nice feed into Almir Central. For that, how are we going to do this? We're going to need some bus stations and stuff. At least we know how far out it can spread, which is to say very far. Almir Central goes here. And here, and here. Three for buses. Can I get four for buses? Yeah, I can. I can get four for buses and three for mail. Because God knows how big this is going to expand or how much attention it's going to need. They are going to need some roads coming down into them. I'm not particularly good at building roads in this game, and I have a funny feeling the game lacks a lot of uh, functionality for roads. I did see a mod that was like, oh man, this game doesn't have enough for roads, so here's a big mod of road-related things, but I never looked into it. Maybe someday I will. It's just that my brain was filling up with open TTD knowledge way too quickly. Couldn't handle it. Now, I need to think. I don't think I need to worry about making an efficient road network here, actually. I'm only linking up for... Uh, did I miss Arheim? Christ, Arheim needs a bit of love. Are they going to feed into this? I don't see why not. Anyway, I don't think this is going to be so saturated that I need to concern myself with an efficient road layout, but I do want my cities having, and I hate to use the G word, but a grid network for more efficient uh, services. I believe I saw Calput playing around with a 3x3 three three for uh, building roads here. Get rid of railway construction, let's pin road construction, that way 123 works for my uh, creation hotkeys here. 3 and, oh god, 3 and R. I'm relatively inexperienced with hotkeys, so it still takes me a moment to know what I'm doing here. Yeah, I, I abhor gridding, I think it's an affront to... Um, the modern, well, it's in front of the world. Sadly, it is part of the modern world, like Rocco. Local authority won't allow me to remove a bit of a fending road. How dare they? Right, well, we'll turn our attention to Amsterdam there. Amsterdam is fairly gridded. Let's help by actually seeing what's going on here. 
Even if it's efficient, I don't want to grid everything though. It uh, it wouldn't be right. Just have this come down. It's no biggie. Should be able to loop my way around Amsterdam and grab everyone that I need. The month has passed, so I can get back to roading you. Why is railway up here? I thought I pinned road construction. Oh, it's probably because I pressed D or yeah. There we go. If I press A, it removes my pin. That's not right. That is absolutely not right. Can't believe there's not a setting for this. Right, over you go. It's fine. There is a setting to stop the cities from building their own roads. Now I can see how that would be incredibly tempting, but I really want my cities to be able to grow in their own hideous organic way. So I will leave that setting on, unless it really starts to aggravate me, but I can't see that happening. Just giving these people the um, the roads they need, even though they don't realize they need it, and uh, ruining some people's long-standing family homes. These local authorities are too cheesed off with me just yet, give them time. I'm sure we'll see the cheesy light. Right, so that's one, two, three, where was the fourth city? Utrecht, I've dealt with that. So the four cities have room to expand, but I need to link them into here somehow. First thing is I want to have good long feeders into these. Maybe that's a little too long. One-way roads cannot have... Uh, dual carriageways cannot have junctions, which is weird. It's all, all the more reason I think this game isn't particularly well fleshed out when it comes to its road things. So it means I'm going to want to feed you in... How exactly? I mean, you guys are going to want to turn off. Also, it's left-hand drive. So if you come in like this and turn, you'll be making right turns, which isn't good. I need you guys doing left turns. Trying to wrap his head around what he's even saying here. Vroom, 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 vroom. Come in here. If everybody's turning right, that's no biggie, because then off of that right, they then turn left. So it's going to feed in like so. But we need a one way that connects all this down the way, which means you cannot be dual carriageway. But they feed into a, um, a one way system, so that's okay. They also need to feed out into a one way system if I'm ever going to be particularly happy. God help that ever happening. Now, what are we going to do here? I'm going to pause because this might take me a while. Because again, my aforementioned inexperience. But I'd really like to build a clover leaf. Yeah, I feel like the tools here are just that bit too clunky. Maybe clunky is a bit of an overused term these days, but it doesn't change the fact that that's my feelings and that those feelings are very correct. Maybe I can give myself a bit more space by bringing them, no, bringing them back out there. It's just going to cause us some inefficiencies. So let's imagine this is our road coming in. One way it, one way it. Now, how are we going to handle this? I want to be able, I want people to be able to feed into this clover leaf. Probably the best way is to tunnel down a bit so that we can go through. But I want this to be the main path that doesn't get interrupted at all. So. We'll have you... Whoa, now, what have I done here? What the heck is all this? I don't know. I don't want to know. There we go. Wouldn't I need a bit that's, like, too thick here? You missed a piece of road in Arnheimer or something or other. A bit of road... Looks pretty fine to me, unless you mean I didn't delete that. I don't think there's any real consequence to it, but I'll delete it if it offends you so much. Whoops. Whoa, no, 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 no. It's just going to cheese off local authorities for no big uh, gain. How are we going to do this then? Cloverleaf. I haven't built many or really any of those. What the heck am I doing? I deleted that for a reason. Probably going to need a bit more than that done so that I can drop this down. I'll need even more deleted than that, won't I? Quite a bit, even. 
This is a bit experimental. Again, there's probably a working solution out there that I don't have in my head, but... Oh, that is wrong. That is wrong. The game has a lot of hotkeys for rails, far fewer for roads. It's a travesty, I know. I think this area still works as dual carriageway because it looks at how it's surrounded by one way. I hope that's how it works. Right. So I will want people to be able to come in and off both these sides. Although I'm probably making issues for myself here, but whatever. Let's make our cloverleaf. Because Jake knows how to cloverleaf. The easiest way to think about it in my head is just that you need to be able to turn right everywhere. Turning left is easy. So how do we turn right? The answer would be to have you be able to go up and over into a... Hold that thought. Oh man, this cloverleaf has a lot of problems fast approaching. <laughs> it's alright, we'll figure it out, won't we? You could probably bridge over this, couldn't you? And then just connect up through here. Do -do 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 -do. I mean, you guys are easy. If you want to turn right, you can just turn left and left again. And then if you turn left, right, for all these, these need to be gone. Bear with me, if you know how to do this like it's second nature, then I'm sure this is painful in its own interesting ways. But me, I'm figuring this out. Right, actually, maybe this would work out just fine. Maybe that's all that we need. Think about it. You're coming along here, you want to turn left? Well, just turn left. You want to turn right? Then you go through the tunnel, turn left, left, and left again. Oh god damn, that was easy. I know how to do it better, use trains. Nope. I refuse to just make this nothing but trains. Besides, this is people just taking the bus over to the main train station, which is also the boat station. It's, uh, if there were trams, it would be the everything station. We ignore planes because planes are cheating. Right, shouldn't these be one way? I'm thinking they should be one way. Do -do 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 -do. Like, this should be... Oh, hang on a sec, Ondo. Should the outer be one way at all? Because you might want to turn left, left, and... Yeah, okay, these shouldn't be one way. That's weird. That feels like it's going to reduce the amount of throughput. Eh, maybe not. People will be in the correct lane that they need to go to, to make their turns. I'm sure it'll be fine. Anyway, how does this help in any conceivable way? Um... Amsterdam needs a way onto this glorious uh, clover leaf, which uh, definitely has its problems, but they're solvable problems. For starters, I'm going to have this clover leaf ignore Amsterdam. I mean, the local authority refuses. Okay, well, I'll give them a month, but I will link that up in a bit. Uh, Utrecht, how do you get in on all of this? I wish this factory wasn't here. God, this is, uh, the lack of intersections on one ways, disastrous. Sawyer, I, I, need to, I need to have a word with you. How are you going to enter this, though? How do you get off of this? I don't want to have clover leaves everywhere. How, 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 in the real world, how do they enter these things? Let me think, when you're, when you're coming off, I mean, they just kind of feed in. Then now uh, they feed off of that. Hmm. All that clover leaf just to lead into a bottleneck square about. <laughs> yeah, probably making myself some uh, grim issues here. Hmm. I don't know. Well, I'll tell you what, it's no big deal if you just want to come in onto here. 
They're going, okay, we've picked up all the people, and then we're going on to this thing. And they come in, vroom vroom. When they come off, they need to return, though. That's when they need to come off of here and go around. Yeah, I guess. Ah, should be fine. Should be fine. Let's not worry about it. By the end of this, we'll have picked up so much experience that this is all just second nature. Heck, you know what? You can just come right on in, actually. This is probably the terminus for it all. So you want to go in, you just vroom vroom, then you vroom vroom back out, make your way around, and then go back up. Easy. I worry a bit about people returning from here, though. Like, what are they going to do? Well... I can't believe I didn't think about this immediately. If they want to return in here, so be it. They just hop on this little uh, steel girder bridge. And then if you want to come out, you just make your right turn. You're a dual carriageway. You can do that no problem. You'll turn in, go back into Utrecht to pick people up and get back on. Oh, man. I'm born to build roads. But what about Achmar? Well, Achmar will deal with it at the turn of the month when Amsterdam starts agreeing to my whoops. So I'm not be having that. Amsterdam listens to my demands, because currently they're a little bit uh, unhappy. I felt really bad using a mod that just forces the local authorities to love you every month, but the local authority mechanic in this game is no real fun to play with. I really wanted to have to care about the services I provide a city, but the game's just not having any of that. Is that going to work? I don't think that will work. I think you need to be a little bit further away. Yeah, now you can go under and you'll just bypass this place. Wait, why do I want to bypass Amsterdam? Because Amsterdam can feed into here, no problem. Yeah, no biggie. The Great Amsterdam Bypass. I'm not sure where to put it. That'll do. Oh yeah. Oh wait, what the hell? Is that connected? Don't ask questions. Just drive on my roads and await further roads. Now, no biggie, because Almir is probably our end point for now. Just want to make sure it's all one-way stuff coming out. Driving on the left-hand side, of course, up on the right. Okay. Yeah, diagonals are for trains only. Which makes sense, a road is an entire block like so, whereas the trains can be eight or nine different ways in a single tile. I suppose there's things like... Uh, no, absolutely not that. There's things like that, but we're not counting that. Because it goes against what we're saying. Okay, I think everything's linked up. Arkane feeds into this. Utrecht does, Amsterdam does, Alkmaar does. Now it's just a case of setting up the buses and mail vans and making sure they get here to transfer into Almer Central. I'm sure that's all it is, right? Well, I will need to set up depots for them, but unlike trains, there's not a huge amount of um, backing up. Ah, but they're really slow, they'll generally need a service every time they get into here. And I don't want just to have the place backed up with the uh, road vehicles. So what might be better is that there's service in their cities, so that they will service every time they come back. Yeah, that makes a bit of sense. Okay. Let's think about the, the route that they go for from each place. So Almir, really there's very little to be picked up. They're going to drive through here and here to get... Um... Oh Christ, what's the different speed of the vehicles? Ooh, now that's a consideration. Do, 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 do. Passengers over land are so much more difficult, says Kakniski. 
favorite way to start a map is just feed an oil refinery with a ton of oil. Why trucks? I find trains are just so much better for that. If they come back in here, they're probably going to want to come and feed into a bit of service here. Right, I want to check speeds. This could end up being a bit of a problem. Not in the dual carriageway, they can overtake and undertake. But in the cities for collecting stuff, that might be a problem. So if we compare, what's our fastest bus? 88 kilometer per hour leopard bus. 48 kilometer mail truck. Jings, why is the mail truck so slow? They're gonna clog up inside the city, but they'll figure themselves out on the dual carriageway. So I'm not sure it's worth caring about the setup. Plus I'm sure the mail truck will get better soon. Jings, that's a 40 year old mail truck right there. Disgusting. Okay, let's uh, let's get that leopard bus going. Trams don't have this problem. Trams do have this problem, Caledon. Mail moves like 20% slower than passengers. Right, so how am I going to do this? Well, I'm not going to do anything if I don't have stations, will I? Let's start with this. We'll need a lorry station, which can go behind from... Maybe different approaches. That'll, that'll make life easier for them. Because they'll take different routes, won't they? Do, 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 do. Mm, I can't guarantee that. I'd rather just bunch them together. <laughs> Safe in the knowledge that they will someday be fast enough. So there we go. There's Arheem. It's not really their central. You just call it Arheem for now. I can figure out a naming convention for road vehicles later on. Our leopard bus goes here. And then it goes all the way up to here. And then it stops in for service. And I'll just tell it to do the service regardless of how it feels. I think that's just better for road vehicles. I don't want them breaking down all the bleeding time. Uh, you can give two separate tracks with trams. Trucks are flexible. Many shops are not covered by trains. You can give two different separate tracks with trams. Do you mean they go inside the ring for one thing and then outside the ring for the other? That's certainly true, but I've had issues where um, they switch their line usually because they go for servicing. But that could be solved by having a better servicing network. Mm-hmm, yes, of course. That route needs about 10 deposits rather than one. I don't want to agree, so I won't. If I'm proven wrong, then I'll go with it. Anyway, how many of these vehicles are we going to need? I don't know, but let's go with six. That's not six, that's seven. And let's go with eight, it's a much better number. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wonderful. Now get going. Uh, a slight issue I have is that I would like to clone my mail trucks and give them the same order, but as I understand, the game won't allow you to clone that order for mail. If I go and make you, and I just tell you to share orders with one of these, it says no, can't share, even though it does exactly the same things. This one is, much like that, going to go to Arnheim, it's going to go to Almere Central, and then it's going to go for servicing, regardless of whether it needs it or not. But it's not a big deal to make that. How many of these are we going to make? Generally half as much mail as passengers. And if I need more, I can just clone them. So all of you get out. Will I make all of them, even though there's probably deficiencies in the setup? Yeah, we will. Why not? So you come down... I don't know if you're going to turn here and go around. Probably. You're probably going to think that's faster. But it won't get in the way of this. Yeah, no, that's a pretty swell, swell track. Oh, can you make um, checkpoints? There must be a way to make checkpoints, right? To force them to go a certain way. Hmm, is that a setting? I feel like a game like this would definitely have checkpoints. Not with road vehicles? Why? <laughs> I suppose you could just make a station that's never used and tell them to pass through it, but... Oh well, what can you do? Just modify the roads. Yeah, but that can be difficult when you need to tear down a city for it. Maybe they just want you to feel that frustration in playing the game. Right, so for Utrecht, they're going to want to come out and along here. So Utrecht gets a similar situation. The lorry setup and the bus setup. Whichever one's front and behind, I don't actually really care much. 
and they can get their servicing when they come back into the city right here because they'll come back in go around and that's good because that sets them up to go back in that way so once again we make our well we'll start with a mail why not go to Utrecht go to there this is gonna make like negative money because it's such a short period to go and it's just a transfer for almost all of it oh god yeah there's a thought um, it won't be a waste because if somebody wants to go from, say, Utrecht to Arnheim, they're going to go to here and then come back. And that might seem like a waste, like they're going there, then there, when they could just go directly. But it means that train, uh, means that the buses and the mail things don't come back empty. They're going to pick thing, pick people up from here. So actually, I think it's going to work out better. Although maybe not as profitable as having direct lines. Pfft, money's hardly an issue here. Or maybe I'm just talking myself into thinking this is a good idea. Doesn't matter, we're doing it. Have your four mail trucks. And then our leopard buses, which again, they do exactly the same thing. If you know how to copy orders between passenger vehicles and mail vehicles, I'd love to know because I don't know. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Activate, like Robot Wars. And I love trucks. If you If you don't love trucks, what did they do to you? Where did they hurt you? Amsterdam, do you mind if I... Oh God, Amsterdam's really on my case. I need to... Again, wait for the turn of the... I thought Amsterdam would love me by now. Maybe we just need to sort that. Well then, we can work on Achmar. Trucks suffer from not being trains. I don't actually want this here. It's going to get in the way of the narrative. Actually, the issue is that you can't have these on intersections, and there was an intersection there. So, lorry, depot, bus depot, and since they're going to come back in this way, we'll give them their maintenance area here. It's very nice that for all vehicles you just need a tiny little one-by-one -one maintenance thing like that. I like it, but I like almost everything about this game. It's so good. Curiously, what's your maintenance? See, your servicing interval is actually much longer than that of a um, of a train, and your speed is pretty fast, and you won't be dropping speed so much unless you reach breakdowns. I think um, road vehicles are extremely bad at overtaking when there's been a breakdown. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then our mail vehicles by you give you a similar service to there to there. It might take a while for these to be profitable. Amsterdam would probably be pretty profitable pretty fast though since it's already quite large. Activate, wait for turn of month and see these guys go on out. Oh man. I don't think it has quite... Where the hell are you going? Why are you taking that route to go there? This will not stand. Now, some of them have a better idea. Local authority refuses. Well... Sometimes they change their tune. Strange way to go about your driving, but uh, sure. I wonder if I can like get rid of this and have a better network for it then. Fewer choices are better choices after all. This is where forbidding the towns from building their own roads would come in handy. Oh yeah, look at that. Making full use of that dual carriageway. Can't help but feel that this is wrong. This is very wrong. I need a better way for you guys to turn around. Yeah, no, that that is wrong. Hmm. What's this meant to be then? Also, how are you guys meant to be able to turn up here? Remove that connection, yes, Jake. Okay, but how do these guys turn right? They can come out, but they can't get over to here. Removing this uh, doesn't help. Actually, it damages things. What's my problem here? No, 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 actually, you can turn left here, and that'll be your turn right. That's fine. That's fine. They were just taking that because it was faster, but I'd actually rather they take the more efficient route. There we go. Yeah, this stuff comes with experience, don't worry about it. Amsterdam! Probably love me now. 
that they do. How have three hours already passed? I have achieved nowhere near as much as I want to do today in this game. I just want to play it forever. But we have motorsports to manage tonight. Right, now break this down. Probably should not have done that first though, considering I need to build up some infrastructure here. I think we'll go through the center part of Amsterdam here. How do they get onto this system? Ah, they can they can pop out here, no biggie. In you go go. How do they come off of this into Amsterdam is another question. For which I have another answer somewhere. Thinking about it, Amsterdam could have just fed into here as long as they have a way to feed out. Yeah, no, this is a massive waste of their time going in that way. And we have a perfectly functional alternative route. Because these guys can just go right in like so. Really, I can't believe how clunky it is building roads compared to rails in this game, but it uh, betrays the focus of this game. There are many questions I have about this layout, says Ninja, and well... Maybe my next boot camp between sessions will be figuring out how to do better road networks, considering that I want to do all my freight by road. Right, so if you're coming in here, you guys can go doop de doo doop de doo and then come up here, but you need a way to split off over to here. Easily done, I suppose, if we have you just come off over here and make your way up into Amsterdam once more. Amsterdam, which will enjoy a hefty bus network. Let's get a closer look at what's going on. I do want to capture a lot of Amsterdam here. Mm, it's going to be a lot of Amsterdam to capture, but what we could just do is have a sizable... Oh, right. I can set you up here and here and connect you as Amsterdam, and have a similar one for the lorries here. And then it captures most of Amsterdam, and their depoting can be done on their return to Amsterdam. These are going to be the more painful things to set up, because I'm surely doing something fundamentally wrong with my setups here, and tearing it all down is going to uh, cause a fair few problems. There are doubtlessly people Paining at my lack of timetabling, which might actually help for something like this. Because it's going to give a much better service if there's always a vehicle waiting for them. I could actually try timetabling. I said I wasn't going to, but now I'm a little bit curious to try it out. Ships feel even less developed than roads since they have no collision detection. It means you don't get any traffic issues whatsoever. I don't think the game was designed to have much huge expanses of water like this. So if you play a randomly generated map, water is much tighter. So ships wouldn't see much use in the base game. From what I understand, but it always had a scenario editor, didn't it? Right, mail trucks, on we go. Having them wait at these stations might cause more issues than it solves, but... Yeah. Just get you down there, clone you three times. And then make our leopard buses. Oopsie doodle. Let's get rid of you. Give you orders. Which vehicle are you anyway? Road 49. Go there, and then there, and then back to here. Clone you one, two, three, four, five, six, seven times, and on you go. Now, I'm done timetabling, but let's try it. Amsterdam seems. Like a poor choice. Let's do uh, Arnheim. I can take all of you. Actually, I only need to take one of you because you all share orders. How does this work then? Timetable. Could I have you stay in Arnheim for five days? And then travel for. Let's make it like 36 days. And then in Central, you don't need to stay for any length of time in Central, just be in and out, no mucking about. Click Autofill. There's an Autofill? Ooh, handy. Timetable has not yet started. How do I start it then? Do I need to set a start date? 
or why don't you just start at the start of next month? How far do these drop downs go? Hmm, 15 years. Is that even going to work? I don't know. Part of me feels that that's wrong. A big part of me. Also, it's not showing timetable here, is it? Alright, well, maybe we need to, to just run a bit first. Oh, Calais has grown to the point of accepting mail. What a world. Really don't like them using this route here, so away it goes. Control click sets the starting point and distributes it between all vehicles. Ah, okay, so maybe I want to control click this. We'll give him a bit of time to set up right. Let's go March, control click set date. Do I also want to auto click? Control click to try to keep waiting times. But I wanted these waiting times to be a bit longer, didn't I? Like five days waiting here. Is that a bit excessive? Yeah, I'm sure it's fine. Give it five days. Alright, let's see how this works out, if it works out. Problem with timetables is they have no issues blocking each other. Oh yeah, it might actually be a problem if they block other people's uh, runs through here. Why does it keep going back to orders though? Timetable's not yet started. certainly blocking each other here, but they're waiting a few days as they're meant to. Vehicle's currently running on time. Not all... I don't know what it means by not all timetabled. Oh, the travel isn't timetabled. You need to control click start date to space them all out. I thought I did. Do we control click start date or the set date? Jeez, this is confusing. Well, might as well learn how to do it now. The vehicle's on its way back. Blah, 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 blah. Ah, oh, the reliability seems to be doing just fine. Somebody said I needed 10, uh, 10 service stations here. What are they on? That was Max. I'll know what he's on. Right. Maybe I should give them some slack, like change this to... Wait, I did change it to 36. So surely they need another almost 36 days to come back. I'll make it like a 32. They go there and they travel for another 10 days to get there. And then I guess I control click autofill. And then I control click start date. And then let's make it uh, 1st of September. Control click set date again. And let's just see if we actually have some uh, vehicles actually spaced out here. If you set it to current date, they'll all be behind schedule. It's no problem if you give them all slack. Currently running nine days late. Well, hopefully you pick up the pace. So they come in. And you're going to wait here for five days and then head out. God, you're 16 days late now. However, what I do see is a staggered approach to Arnheim getting service. And you were probably ahead of schedule, which is why you're waiting here. Let's 
Being a good service. Not for mail, though, because mail is not on this timetabling. I wonder if there's a really fast way to do it, because this is way too much work. Can't I just, like, control click autofill, set this to wait here for maybe a bit longer. So wait here for 10 days so we get a lot better service. And then I'm just going to click start date, immediately set it, because I don't want to constantly micro that. And then maybe if we run a few months, we're going to see our mail staggered as well. Oh, goodness. Yeah, they're going to block uh, vehicles here with that. Like, we're going to have two mail vehicles here blocking... Um, blocking buses for a few days. That could be a problem. Also, I don't have a lot of mail uh, vehicles. How are you doing? Probably ages behind schedule or something. Only two days late. Arnheim's probably not growing because it barely gets any mail coverage. Actually, why is it not growing? Yeah, not enough mail being moved. You don't generate a lot of mail, though. What's your problem? Even though I cover most of the city. So there we go. You are... Well, let's pause to see this. You're a day late. Probably a dollar short. Six days early, so you're going to wait there for a while. Which is probably going to stop this guy being able to move in. <laughs> and the, you're just sitting there doing nothing. Okay, yeah, this is unpleasant. Alright, how do I disable this timetable? How do I kill the timetable? How do we remove timetable? Is it just clear? Oh wow, you can change speed limits as well. You're stuck with it forever now. I don't I don't want to believe that, Naffle. Really though, what, what do we do here? Uh, I've taken one look at timetables, decided I don't like them, or maybe I just need to learn them better. But they're certainly making things bad here. Maybe put the mail terminal in a different place, yeah. Definitely would be a better idea, that. Actually, there's an easy-ish way, easy -ish way for me to do that. What I could do is put you here, make you part of Arnheim, and then remove that. And now the mail is going to be picked up here instead. Still good coverage. How are the others doing? Wow, there's a lot of passengers wanting to get the heck out of Amsterdam. Good sign, though. Means there's a lot of money to be made on transferring people over to Almere Central. Also, a million people in Almere Central. Are these people coming in for my transfer? Potentially, but... Uh, sounds like I need more trains on these lines. Which is scary, because we've only just added in a few places here, and now Almere Central is bursting at the seam with passengers. Okay, am I actually stuck with these, um... timetables forever? Because that's a scary thought. At least this isn't backing up. I'm happy to see that. Although it might back up if I give Amsterdam more uh, vehicles, because they clearly want a lot more service here. It's almost worrying. Maybe I need a much bigger depot. Otherwise it's never going to service everybody. One possible slight tweak. Set the train in Almere to full load. Why would it not full load anyway? Then we just don't have enough... Uh, wow, 400? Well, that's not that's no biggie. 400 is one train worth of people. But they'll have a lot more people when these guys come out of Almere and move around. Thousand pa- oh god, it's all these people that want to go to Amsterdam because they're getting dropped off from the train run. So we need a lot more buses servicing Amsterdam. 
or something a lot better than using buses. Interesting. I have something of an idea for that. Could I make a big bus depot inside Amsterdam is what I'm wondering. Because it's certainly mostly passengers and not mail, right? A lot of those want to go to Brussels. Looks like Amsterdam should have a train station. Who would have thought? Not this guy. Right, tell you what, how about we do... The... Oh, right, no, you can't have junctions, but... But, 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 bear with me here. We're going to make something. We are going to make... Can this be part of Amsterdam? Yes, it can. And get some in for the buses as well. I wonder if this is going to work at all or just clog things up. You'd think surely that would be able to service a lot more coming in, but uh, then I don't want them using this at all. But I still want it to have the extra space for it. Hmm, what's a man to do? Could you show how you ran the mod on this map? When I tried to do it at my place, the mod doesn't work at all. There's a certain setting. Are you? Which mod are you talking about, though? The one that uh, deals with city growth? There was a certain setting that I needed, or else it would crash. Let me say before I do anything fancy here. The game script, yeah. In that case, you want to go to your game script settings, go configure, and if I'm not mistaken, the one I had to change was randomization type. I think it defaults to something like industry descending or ascending or descending ascending. I just set it to five per category. You could set it to one to seven. Uh, and that was what made it work for me. Otherwise, yeah, I did not like it. Probably more set up for furs or something like that, but I don't use furs. Right. I would like to have you be my stationy thing. Hmm. Oh, there we go. I also want this thing gone. Good thing we're experimenting here before we do it for all the cities around. Your growth is terrible for some reason. They hate the mail service. Why does everyone hate my poor mail service? Do I need more... Um... Hmm. Maybe they'd be happier if I wait to be full. Because then they'd actually get... Um... Yeah, I should I should not be doing what I'm doing, mixing the non mail sir, uh, the non mail station with the mail station. Bad idea. We're gonna change that right now. Lorry station coming on in. I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna mix it with Utrecht, and then I'm going to delete that other one. Now they're forced to go there. I will sort them out shortly to make them uh, go for go for maximum. I'm gonna have you here. Mix you with Arn Arnheim or whatever. I think I did. I delete the um, the male one. Wouldn't that have given the um, wouldn't have given the mail trucks illegal orders? Or did I move it already? Can't tell, but it's there now. Kind of already did it with Amsterdam. Amsterdam's coverage is not great, though. Although you know, I can make a second one over here. It would be no, no biggie, or at least not too much of a biggie. Right, similar situation over here. What am I to do with you? I will... Create a... Ooh, this seems like a decent place for it. Create you here to be part of Alkmaar. And then I'm definitely going to remove this. And then we are going to grab all of the vehicles here. I'm going to say, mail vehicles, when you get to Alkmaar, 
school load. That's going to vastly improve the service rating of our mail. I'm not going to do the same for the buses. Although maybe I should. Well, no, what I need are just more buses because we're coming out of the, out of the wahoo with, um, with passengers. Lots of vehicles coming in for 1974. Don't care too much about them. We can investigate later. Right, at Amsterdam, full load, please. And have we done that everywhere yet? You guys at Utrecht, full load. Now, we need more vehicles, especially for Amsterdam. Amsterdam is Xbox huge. So, I can't believe somebody said I needed um, more road things. I really think the, the current accepted meta is to build far too many vehicle depots. Maybe that changes as the vehicles get older and break down a lot more though, but this seems to be working okay. Right, now I need to clone these vehicles something fierce. Amsterdam needs a lot more mail scene too. Utrecht is fine. You're fine. You're fine. Oh, but Amsterdam absolutely needs a lot more buses. You're an Amsterdam road vehicle. And we're just going to have a lot of them, sire. I mean, Jenks is a big city, right? And since we built up this huge depot, and since it's a two-lane road, actually, are they going to use both those lanes? I don't think they are, because they're turning left in off of here. Even coming out, they're really going over there. Could probably solve it by making this all one way. Yeah, as soon as we find, they're not cluttering up. Hopefully that's going to take care of the Amsterdam passenger problem. Yeah, the bulk of the passengers piling up here desperately want to go to Amsterdam, so hopefully all those buses I've made will solve the issue. Why are you stuck here waiting? Don't tell me you're on a transfer. Oh, you're on the timetable and you're 27 days early, so you're clogging it up. Okay, seriously, how do I delete the timetable option? If I don't delete it, I'm just going to delete all the vehicles and make them again, because this is not working out. Build so many buses that they drive in convoys of eight, bumper to bumper, have them on a fixed road, make them electric, overhead wires, and oh, it's trains. <laughs> Where's the mail going? Is it going far away? The mail wants to go to Utrecht, Munster, Hamburg, Bremen, Arkham. It wants to go to everywhere that it can reach. I bet some of it wants to go to Calais. Strangely enough, no. Actually, why does nobody want to go to Calais? They can actually link up to Calais from all of this. Oh, right, because Calais is tiny and symmetric distribution means that they will uh, choose proportionally. So we will occasionally get someone or something that wants to go to Calais, but not often. My trains are running out of here with a lot of Amsterdam people. If you had a form of transportation with higher capacity than buses with reliable routes, we're working on it. Don't you worry, girly. Okay, the passengers appear to be being dealt with in Amsterdam. It's still not growing, but it's already huge enough. It doesn't need to grow much more. Plus, the coverage here is not good. Far from it. I could artificially increase the coverage. It would be a very unfair thing to do, but it would be easy. What I could do, probably, is set up you here. And no one's ever going to go there because there's no valid path, but it would increase the coverage. Tempting. Tempting. Of course, what I could do is just set up another one of these inside Amsterdam. I like this setup. It's busy. No doubt about that. But it's really condensed. I mean, really, it's just two sides of a one-way road that isn't otherwise used. That might be a problem, though. If there are too many... Right, I, I need to actually count for the amount of people that can be serviced here, because there's no point... Oh, God, they're set to go... They're set to fill up, aren't they? Oh, right, never have them set to fill up when you have that many of them. Right, easily solved, though. What we do is we sort out all of the models that we have. 
and I make sure I have no more than... How many can be serviced here at one time? Four? With one kind of trying to enter? So let's imagine six. I have one, two, three, four, five, six. So everything that's 48, 47, 46, 45. All of them go to service and get deleted. Uh, it's alright, it'll solve itself. That's what they always say, right? Solve itself. And then the guys that come in here and wait around, just sell them. Not the guys that are getting their service, though. And that should largely solve my problem. What the hell is this? Timetables. Right. Nobody is mentioning how to destroy timetables. So, I'm just gonna delete all my vehicles. They're not, no, there must be a way, right. OpenTTD, how to remove timetable. Removing all times from timetable and change all stay time. Oh, it's a it's opening up a GitHub page here. Timetable. Da, 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 da. I don't want to clear a broke. The only way to clear a broken timetable is to click clear time for each entry. Okay, that seems doable because I only need to do it on one vehicle. So I grab you, I go to your timetable, and I say clear time, clear time. Clear time, clear time, clear time. How did this get a time again? There we go, not timetabled. And I think I had a similar setup for your your other guys here. Good, it's showing not timetabled. Timetable, yep, clear time. Who were the monsters saying you couldn't clear a timetable? There we go. And that should clean this out something fierce. Now what's worrying is that this already looks pretty busy, and uh, it's only four cities, and to call them cities is a misnomer. They are tiny, except for Amsterdam, which is about half the size of our goal, and it's not even fully seen to. That said, these roads are far from saturated, and there are plenty more places I'm sure we could go for transfer. Also, I don't like this setup. This setup looks so much better. Sure, they have to go in and out of them, but uh, it looks like it would serve so many more than we have here. So yeah, this setup is already old and busted. That's fine though, we'll keep it as a reminder of what we've created. 5k pop is too meager of a goal, surely some cities deserve 50k. Uh, Lubeck deserves to be a megalopolis. Also, didn't we say we were going to burn down London? Was it London or Berlin that won the poll? I managed to forget. Um, London did win the poll. So what I need to do is periodically go over to London, equip the delete tool, and get to work. Now the local authority is going to hate me, so I just need to go over there periodically. Once a month would be ideal, but I will forget. Both, Jake. No, no, no. We ran a poll, and the winner was London. London gets burned down. Berlin survives. The bigger question is if Berlin is considered a Hanseatic city. While you wait, destroy Berlin. Now, once we have London destroyed, we will do a vote on the next place to, to sink into the ocean and make sure it never revives. Right, so it's not amazing, far from it, but... Yeah, look at that setup when we have it set to uh, filter max. So I guess on reflection, there are too many male vehicles here. But the ratings are improving, the cities are growing, albeit slowly. You're not growing for some reason, because we're not getting your mail. Why are we not getting your mail? Actually, why are we not getting your mail? Apparently they'd produce 19 units of mail if they could, but... Ah, I'll tell you why, because you guys are not set to... Um, full load. That'll improve the rating, which is currently really bad, generate more mail, and then generate growth. You guys are set to it 
you guys appear to be set to it. All right, then we're fine. I must admit, the starving to death approach from the other game was more satisfying. True, but there's no... As far as I can tell, there's no way for towns to just shrink. I'd like it if there were, but... Uh... Don't worry, Marvin. I'll, I think I have a solution that will satisfy certain sadistic trends within you. Sure, blowing it up isn't all that satisfying, but we'll we'll have more to do later. I'm taking out the the big um, the big buildings first because I think those impact the most heavily on um, on your rating with the board. Right, definitely things to be improved, but we've learnt and. We seem to have taken care of this quite well. Still a lot of people want to go to Brussels Central. A couple of trains coming in, but maybe with this feeding, we could actually benefit from having more trains on the service. Or on the line, rather. Easily done, though. What's our first destination anyway? Calais? In that case, I'm going to take train 29, and I'm going to clone train 29 a few times. That should see us a few improvements on here. And maybe I should do the same for this one. God, Munster isn't growing at all, which is quite sad. Bremen's not growing either. And Hamburg's not growing. But that's because the coverage is uh, not enough to grab the goods from the city. I guess part of it is also that the ratings are so poor. How can they be so poor? I, I grab all your mail. Does this map reach Italy or Spain? It absolutely does. There's Italy, all the way down to Syracuse. As for Spain, we just get the top nibbling of it, but it is there. It's a huge map, and I'm sure there are huger. What do we have? We've got Istanbul, we've got Crimea, we've got a large chunk of Russia, Finland, all the way up to Tromso for the Scandinavians, all of Britain and Ireland. Well, I say all. I think that's all. Gotcha. Britain, France, Germany, Italy, Greece, Balkans, Scandinavia. Yeah, huge map. But we're only focusing on the Hanseatic areas here. Spain would just be a waste of space on the map. We all know it. You're all thinking it. Mmm, man, I like those profits. What's actually pulling in the real money right now? Trains, interestingly enough, but I have a funny feeling a lot of that is still down to us transporting coal into... Well, from northern Germany into northern Denmark. Because these trains... Ooh, oh crikey, am I still using old crappy steam trains on that? You could be so much better. Um, in that case, we have... This option right here. Replace vehicles. All of these SH-8Ps should really be replaced for the UU-37s. Even though it's not much... Um... Wait, hang on. It's the same speed. It is cheaper, but the SH-8P actually pulls better. Huh, we got any better options right now? The SH-30 electric. The SH-40 electric, now these look better. Look at that increase in speed. Look at that massive increase in power. Uh, look at that decrease in reliability, not sure I'm sold on that. But the SH-8P is really unreliable. I think uh, what I'll do for now is I will replace those guys with the U37 diesels. We only have 12 of them. I reckon most of them are on the um, the existing line for coal. But the money made on these trains is just, hmm, 357,000 last year on just one of these trains. And the coal is piling up. Man, I, I made this back in the golden olden days. I'm not going to clone the train though, it's, it's fine. Try multiple locomotives, Jake. Multiple locomotives? For what? Right. We have this set up. Granted things aren't growing- well, some of them are growing a wee bit. Yeah, might take a bit, but they will grow larger. We'll take better care of them. And now that you're stuck here, you are going to build up the mail rating and get us more mail. I've said mail so many times today, it no longer feels like a word. You know when you keep saying a word and it starts to lose its meaning? Like you just say pencil over and over again? That's how I'm feeling about the word mail. Right, we had that. It was okay. Let's get better. Let's link up trams. 
Where are we going to link the trams up to? I'd love to move them into Calais Central, but the spread on Calais is already enormous. That's not to say it can't be done, though. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Could still come out a bit here, but this already reaches out quite far over to here. Not a great amount of space for it unless we shoved it right up into Calais here. Again, not impossible. And indeed tantalizing with the possibility. We could have a hell of an exchange over to Calais. The problem is, for these people, going over to Calais is going like the very long way around to go to Almere kind of choking this when it doesn't need to be choked. So, I think what I'm going to do is I'm actually not going to bring them over to Calais, but instead bring them over to a dedicated boat area. I say dedicated, but I think I'll link the boat area to... Mm, Der Haag. Oh, it's Den Haag. Here, I thought it was Der Haag. Right, Der Haag gets this. And this isn't Der Haag docks, this is Der Hag Transfer because it's going to be a huge transfer station and it's going to be serviced by a lot of boats and we will get to boats, there's a lot of work we need to do on boats, but not yet, also some time has passed let's go and raise a bit more of London high rises first because those are the expensive ones in terms of um, local authority to deal with so, how are we going to do this? well, I am going to Take a water break first, but we can watch our trains go around. I'll be back in a minute. There we go, much better. And advantage from all that is we can destroy some more of London. High rises, football fields, let's just stop English hooliganism before it even starts. And we're like quarter of the way through crushing London in terms of population already. Now, let's give it a pause and think about what we are doing here. We will not be using buses, we'll be using trams. And I'm wondering how I can sort this so we can use an inner outer ring setup. Not too sure, so I'm going to start up by actually building roads for these places, because otherwise they'll automatically build their roads, and well, we're, not, we're just not a huge fan of that around here. Tramways do not need roads. You can have a tram just going around on dirt, which is really cool. Plenty of examples of that happening. Happens in Edinburgh, actually. The tram does run on the road for a while, but then as it gets further afield, it actually transfers onto uh, just dirt. Antwerp. Is there like some meaning to the word Antwerp? Because just the idea of having twerp in your name is amusing to me. I wish the Dutch were amusing to me, but it's, it's more like... Sadness. I used to like the Dutch. Used to work in an oil place uh, which had quite a lot of uh, Dutch people coming in. And generally tall, attractive, good work ethic. I mean, what was not to like about them? Then I met the Dutch, well, met, yeah, I did meet. Met uh, Dutch people from this community. I just, where did it all go wrong? He 
Even so, here I am being the bigger man and sorting the Dutch out with a world-renowned tram setup. I know, I know. How can one man be this altruistic? Isn't Antwerp in Belgium? Look, it's all lowlands. I don't want to jump on the Belgium doesn't exist meme, but really, other than being the seat of the EU, what does Belgium do for the world at all? It's a rhetorical question because nobody has an answer. Right, so there's Denhag transfer. Actually, I don't think I want a road here because this is going to be the, uh, the exchange for the trams. And what an exchange I intend it to be. Uh, I've had I've had Bel uh, Belgian beer. Rough stuff. Right, Bruges, you are tiny. Someday you will not be tiny. But for now, you are incredibly small. Now, I don't know how best to link this up with multiple cities. Do we have them all just directly feed into Den Haag transfer? Or do we have them feed into, like, a main line? Can you go across water? That's a no. Can we bridge trams? Oh my god, trams on a bridge? I've never seen that, and now I want to see that. Alright, alright. Um, Bruges and Antwerp are going to flip around and then go up a very cute tram line that goes across this river, I forget its name, and then they're going to feed into a big transfer terminus at Den Haag. Oh my god, my, my bits are tingling thinking about this. Um, I want as many bridges as I can, so I'm going to bridge along here. Oh man, these ugly ass bridges. Concrete suspension bridge? Because I don't think these things reach faster than 80 kilometers per hour anyway. Wait, maybe my speeds are in miles per hour. Hold that thought, game. I'm going to need... Ugh, I'll just put it down and destroy it. How are the vehicles? My speeds are in kilometers per hour, current top speed is 72, and I don't think it gets much higher. Are you prepared for the unparalleled joy of intercity crosswater trams, Jake? I don't think I'm prepared, but I will accept it. Alright, we suspension bridges. How bad could it be? Nice thing is no need for signaling on this. And uh, one road goes both... well, no, road... normal roads go one road both ways. I don't know what I'm on about here. You don't even need uh, a junction to turn in this game. Very nice boon. Right, here it is. How are we going to sort this out? I want to sort it out a lot better than I did before. Oh! Crock and bollocks. Uh, doesn't do it the way I want it to do it. You don't get the little square insidey bits like we got in the other one, right? How in the world then do we do this the way we want it to? I think my best bet is actually just to have a lot of them come in, offload, turn around to get back onto this. But I don't like the fact that there's going to be a nasty intersection that cuts them badly. So. I could have them come in and then all feed into something that then comes back out and around rather than making a U-turn. Yeah, that sounds a bit better. In that case, what are we going to have? Freight? It's a train, Jake. Just make a battery off them. What, you mean like a long line of them? How would that help? One would come into the front one and get clogged. I'm going to make a side line of them, although maybe that's what you meant. So, you're going to be Derhag Transfer. I'll have three of you for mail, and one, two, three, four, five of you for passengers. I don't like how little space we have for these things backing up. So, we're going to come out a wee bit here. Busy. I'm eating up a lot of Derhag's space here, but I don't know how much, how clogged this thing is going to get. 
But with left hand drive, this is going to be perfect because they come in on this left hand side. Now, maybe they go up there or there or there, or even as late as here. When they come out, they all make right turns, but there's nothing coming the other way to get in their way. Oh my god, there's no way to wait this one way, is there? That's going to be a problem, actually, if they turn up here and then try to go down. How can I make this one way? I don't think I can. Mm. Mm. Trams and trucks could stop and unload behind each other. I've seen them just take the front bit and clog up everyone behind them. This is a problem now. How can I make this one way? I don't think I can. I suppose it's not a huge deal. If something clogs up one way, they're going to take it the other way and just maybe make a mess of it. Who knows? But otherwise, they should come up. Oh god, what if they try and go through one of these to come back around? That could be a problem. Dang, no one ways. Oh well, we will see how we we'll see how it pans out, and if it doesn't pan out too well, we can always improve. Now there will probably be a time when I want you to service Bruges better than you do right now. For now though, it's just ding a ling. And then Antwerp needs a similar approach. I mean, I could probably just have you come down and spin around here. Yeah, because you're going to come down, ding a -ling, and then go back around. How about Rotterdam? Well, Rotterdam can link right in. Yeah, looking at it, trams are actually a uh, wonderful and simple approach to uh, the complex problem of moving people around. This is great. I only like having one main area for picking people up in the city, though, but I wonder if it's going to get too clogged up. Actually, that could be a consideration. I mean, they come in, but they just can't move people fast enough. What about Den Haag? Well, Den Haag is actually completely solved by all of this. They don't need anybody to pick them up further, because the size of this coverage is most of Den Haag. So Den Haag doesn't need some dedicated things. We do, however, need tramways here. I think I'll stick you cheekily over there. Uh, we'll stick you right in here, so you're a little bit out of the way. How about you? Actually... I said I was just going to have a straight line here, but I'm not. I'm going to bring it around so that you force yourself to go for some uh, some TLC. Right, let's get this going then, shall we? Oh yeah, we had the problem of um, tra uh, the train ones being slower, but maybe we've unlocked some better ones by now. Not train ones, mail ones. No, the mail one is still so slow. I don't know what can be done about that, honestly. Because it, it's going to come in, slow down everything coming along here, and then that's just bad news for me. Ugh, I'm sure we'll unlock a faster one later on. For now, we'll just make do with the fact that everything's going to be a bit slower. Now, <laughs> it's just the easy way to solve things. Just not worry about it. Now, tram, tram, tram. Could have you here and here. That would solve Bruges quite nicely. Oh, local authorities don't like me enough. That's fine. We'll let a month pass. There's nothing civil about most of what Jake does. Well, you're ninja. You're saying that, but you're not not offering up any astounding advice. Get you in here, and here. <laughs> the, gu the guinea pigs, that's the lowlands for us. Do, 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 do. What I worry about is not having my, uh, my mail services wait until they have Mac. Ooh, well there's a thought. Why don't I just have a little bit peel off 
so that they can wait there and fill up and then not have to clog up everything else. Hey, now, now we're thinking. All right, let's get rid of the, um, the freight ones that I've made already and then consider a better way to do it. Because they could just come in to somewhere like here. Then I could have my freight right there. Uh, mistake. I could have my freight right here. This is just Bruges. Bruges Central is no more. Maybe this is what um, what Ninja was looking for. He wanted me to activate Brain. I can have this bit turn off here. It does mean that anybody waiting here is going to clog them up. But these guys are largely going to be waiting, aren't they? So that's no big deal. Um, so we have our freight here as part of Antwerp. What are we going to do for Rotterdam then? Well, we have this bit conveniently right here. We can make our freight go here. Uh, oh, separate station, fine by me. Freight there, and passenger service here, linked with Rotterdam. Okay. Hey, this might work. Why does it show... Well, that's freight and passenger meaning, right? I hope so. Or road vehicle and... I didn't accidentally build the wrong thing here, did I? No, I'm not so sure. Maybe. Part of Rotterdam. Yeah, they look so similar. But uh, I'm not sure if I built the right ones there or not. And I'm not going to check the VODs to find out. Okay, that's them set up. They all have their TLC areas. You were surplus to requirement just for checking stats. Okay. Now we need to set them up and knock them down, so to speak. I need a new vehicle coming in. Get ourselves the lovely fast Jubilee passenger tram. Good for 40 passengers. That's not a lot, but I know these things get much larger. You go to Bruges, then you go to Den Haag Transfer, then you come back for some TLC and do Bruges again. Easy peasy. How many of you do we want? Probably quite a few. I mean, I went with, what, eight in all the places before? Even if that's overkill, it'll do for now. And then we want our mail tram. And you do exactly the same thing, so it irks me that I can't just copy orders, but... Game doesn't like... No, you don't do exactly the same thing, because... In Bruges, you fool load. And I... Don't know how many I'm really going to need of you, but I think four is a good amount. Two... You could probably get all four in there, actually. So let's just see how we do with four. And I could just wait and test you, but... I'm not. I'm just going to... Put all of them down and go for it, and if I need to fix three times as much, then that's just my hubris talking. But if I don't need to fix anything, think of all the time I save. <laughs> the answer is no time at all. Antwerp. Go to Antwerp. Go to Den Haag. Go for some TLC. Nice. Oh, I already like how this is looking. Mm, actually, I'd like it if you flow through here and then into there because otherwise you're Antwerp and then you go up and then when you come back down you you make a right hand to ask screw it I'm worried about absolutely nothing here I don't think this is going to be such a chock-a-block section that I really need to care about such efficiency this isn't a train line go Antwerp go Den Haag go for some TLC and in Antwerp We'll load any cargo, and have four of you, and activate all. How goes the transporting, says Dark Young. <clears throat> I'm having a blast. Some people I think are actively throwing up in their own mouths, but that is very much a them problem. They don't believe in some of my solutions, even though some of them have ended up being neat, concise, beautiful in a way. Probably just jealous, jealous that they ran straight to the wiki 
to try and find designs because they couldn't come up with their own. And then they see me not only coming up with new meta designs, but enjoying myself at the same time. Jealousy can be painful at times. Right, at Rotterdam, full load. Clone you to four. Activate all. And now, let's see how our little monkeys, the Dutch, do. Now, they won't be moving a lot of people around just yet, at least not to a lot of locations. But I'm going to link up Der Haag transfer, probably to Calais and to Almere. And that's going to move a lot of people in a lot of uh, painful ways. Trams are so cool. I can't believe they weren't in the base game, but I'm so glad somebody swiftly added them. Trams are such a good look. And now, as we see, our trams branch off here so they don't block everybody else and they fill up. That's going to take them forever to fill up, but it's going to improve the rating that I have for mail, probably all the way up to, I don't know, very good, excellent maybe even. Can I compare it to how one of my other mail things waiting for are doing? Look at that, very good on the mail. Even though there's barely any mail to transfer, but now they're actually giving me more mail because of that high rating, and Arhim is growing faster. So I think the Arhim people deserve a brand new statue of me. That's what I'd want. In they come, now they're empty, right? Oh wow, 13 passengers? Okay, well, most of them are empty. I think I just clicked on the lucky one. I'm curious to see how they approach here. I really want them to do what they're doing right now, which is approach from the bottom. They're showing a lot of preference for that one right there. Okay, oh, this is fantastic. This is less fantastic, though. They're exiting that way, but it's not a big deal because nothing's going to be in their way because the trams can go both ways. Okay, are trams ethereal? Amazing. Maybe road vehicles don't uh, worry about intersections the way I think they worry about them. Because I, I swear they're just going through each other like they're city skylines vehicles. Nice merger. Merging like a deck of cards. And do I see the cha-ching of money? Unloading all these Rotterdams into Den Haag for transfer. And to make things even better, some of these will be picking up passengers from the transfer to bring back to their own places. Oh, I love transfer system. What surprises me is that we're not seeing transfer ping up. Can you zoom out all the way? This is as far as I can zoom, but there are two things that might alleviate what you're after. One is that you can take a full screenshot of the map at maximum zoom. I took one earlier. It's about a 100 megabyte file for this map. But what you can also do is go to Map of the World, and then you can zoom out as much as you want. Let's get rid of the clutter of all the names there. And, oh, this is beautiful. We can see the network and its growth. Mm. By the end of this campaign, this network is going to stretch probably from Lurwick all the way to Novgorod. And it's going to encapsulate southern Finland, the important part of Sweden, the southern tip of Norway. North Germany, oh my god. I can't wait to see it. But we dare not skip to the end. A big part of it is that, ooh, we just got a new mail tram. So maybe, although we just bought them, we might be able to grab all of our tram as part of road vehicle, right? Well, we can just go to replace vehicles. All those mail trams can be replaced with the considerably faster and bulkier mail tram. So we just hit Start replacing. Why do I have a crappy passenger tram? Replace that one as well. In fact, where the hell are you? I don't even want to know. Get yourself replaced. What's the different? Uh, what's the definition of a Hansa city? Do you have a list or every city in particular area? So for all the questions. Not a problem, Mogmeister. I appreciate that uh, my grand designs in my head are not easily absorbed. Oh, okay, nah, that, sound, that sounds awful. Anyway, it's a mix of three things. One is I have a 1400 map of the Hansa with uh, all the Hanseatic territories and specific Hansa cities underlined. Two, I'm going by the game Patrician 4 and going by its uh, geographical extreme. And uh, three, I'm just going by arbitration. I will decide what is Hanseatic. 
Um, so, for example, I know from Patrician IV that the eastern seaboard of, uh, of Great Britain is Hansa. Really, it's only London, Scarborough, Boston, and Edinburgh, but I'm probably just going to arbitrarily say it's the eastern board of the UK, so from Dover to probably Kirkwall. Lurwick? Hmm. We'll make a decision on that later. So, yeah, that's how it goes. So, I, I'm not going to involve Bristol. There's just no foundation for that. No foundation for adding La Rochelle, either. Um, Calais, for example, I'm pretty sure that's not a Hanseatic city. But there was a Hanseatic city just north of Bruges that isn't on the map. So I'll just say, sure, Calais will be that city then. We're not going to get full Germanic on the rules here. <laughs> the rule is my rule. God, I love seeing this work. Okay, we are seeing the transfers pop up. These things are backing out a bit, but that's okay. If it's ever so full that others can't find a place, they'll move into one of these other ones. You're breaking down on me, but that's okay. You will boost your reliability when you go back home for TLC. And again, why do people think that these need loads and loads of service stations on the side? A service station back here, seeing every vehicle on the return is doing just fine. Hmm, they really are forming a train here, aren't they? This is one disadvantage of the network. If anything does break down along the way, it holds up everything behind it. There's no way to just bypass it. But in another way, uh, breakdowns introduce staggering, which can be good for getting the ratings here. They're not happy with the passenger setup, but they will be fine. Jake, you could have just had uh, more than one station in a row so that uh, two trams could unload at any given time. You mean over here? Does it work that way? I wasn't aware that it worked that way. Let's try it then. See, there we go. These these are the nice pieces of advice that... Uh... Oh wow, I can build on top of itself several times. Nice bits of advice that a certain ninja didn't feel the need to give us. It's actually just a train station, but for trams? Very nice. Wait, Almir doesn't accept mail? I don't like that. Why Why in the world would there be no mail here? Well, the problem is that Almir is growing out in this direction. I might be able to help Almir with that. Oh, the coverage isn't great, though. What I probably need is Almir to um, just have a transfer inside itself. Yeah, because the coverage is no longer reaching enough of Almir. And that's going to impact its growth in a very negative way. But that's okay. Almir can be easily solved. I could do passengers and mail. That'd be no biggie. So what do we do? We do a freight and a passenger tram. And I'm not going to overthink this one. I'm just going to slam it down and that'll be that. I don't actually want you growing out in that direction, Almir, so that's all the more reason to eradicate that. Add you. Connects in nicely. And... Oh, right, they need the transfer, don't they? Oh god, I hope this transfer works. It might be too far... It is almost definitely too far away. Oh, it just barely squeezes in for Almir Central. Nice. In that case, Almir Central... And Almere Central, which is becoming everything. Almere's got road vehicles, trains, boat, and uh, and now tram. We'll keep it nice and simple, though. Um, can we have two? Is that going to be a problem? Surely not. Also, this is the newer and better one. Why are they not in order of uh, introduction? That's how I like it. Also, mail. No, it's going to cause holdups if we do it like that. Screw it, if it just goes round and round, it'll be fine. So, mail tram, very simple. There and there, stop whenever you need more stuff. And passenger tram. I love the fact that you can just make a tiny wee one like this, and it's perfectly, probably viable. Not sure if it's going to be profitable, but the fact that it's going to... What the heck? I got the wrong vehicle open there. You there. Ah, here you are. Go there and there. And get moving. 
and that should bring the mail of Almer over here. Ten as duplicate orders. Oh crap, did I make you part of Almer's? Oh, wait, what? Why do we have two Almer centrals? That's confusing. This actually didn't reach you here then. This was a mistake, but potentially a mistake that we could solve. Potentially. Okay, we have the problem of you having this weird name. So we're going to call you Almer City Tram. And I'm going to send you guys to the depot so you don't get in my way. And we'll see what we can do here. Now, you cannot reach that there. Where could you reach? If we got you over here, we could just barely reach. I don't want to destroy anything in Almere. But I might have to. Because I want to link this up to Almere Central. Hmm. It's not a train station. Also, loving the town has nothing but a farm and a football stadium. <laughs> It's a good place. Place is good. Right. Let's pause all these messages. Don't keep bothering me here. Right, that's fine, but that that is too far. How about here? That's actually fine. How far can it go? I wonder. Well, mm. let's get a bit extreme here, shall we? Passenger here with Almere Central. Freight here with Almere Central. Tramway. Uh, mm -hmm. No, no, this could work. Tramway doubles back on itself here. And just... Sorry, just... Uh does something like that. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Are your all your orders invalid? Kind of. There we go. Okay. A bit horrendous in a lot of ways. However, they are going to pick up passengers and mail from this part of Almer, bring them over to the uh, transfer place, and that will still stimulate Almer's growth. They call that tram station the Almer Appendix. <laughs> oh, jings. It should work. I would actually like it if this wasn't here and it came out, but I, I don't want to tear down too much of Almer, or else there's going to be nothing left to get passengers and mail from. The rating probably won't be that. Actually, the rating should be fine, because it's going to keep the passengers and mail quite low. The scary thing is if this becomes too busy and I need more of them. If that happens, I'm actually going to set them up a transfer dock. That's how scary things are getting with suggestion. Okay, speaking of transfer dock, Den Haag has so many people here. Most of them want to go to Antwerp. That makes sense. Antwerp is ages away, but doesn't get nearly as many uh, vehicles as it needs. So we're going to... Hmm. Gonna grab one of you. You're probably running full. Of course you are. In that case, just Antwerp needs a lot more service. What's that? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Get out there. Make Antwerp happy. You know, you make a compelling point about extending these out so they can deal with more people. So now... Yeah, they should be seeing a lot more now. Excellent. Not a fan of hills, then. Oh, certainly not. I terraform most things flat when we see them. 
Has the London problem been rectified yet? Good point. We haven't been exterminating the London high-rises. Starting with the big ones. And then it's just going to be the slightly easier to clear smaller ones. Then it's time to say bye-bye to London. Periodic reminders to get on that are appreciated. Right. Train profits going up and up. That's what I like to see. Ship income. Not budging, because we haven't done anything with ships. Let's change that, shall we? So we have all these people going into Almir for uh, transfers at Almir Central. We have people going into Den Haag for transfer. But currently these systems are isolated. Now, as I said, I want everyone to be able to go everywhere. So we actually need to link these up to the main line here. I don't just want to shove everyone uh, over on lines into the train stations. Um, the, prob the trouble with train is that there's throughput. I can't. Much as I try, I don't think you could make a setup where everybody gets shoved through these trains. But for the time being, we can, and we can do that by throwing them on via boat. I like boats. I like them a lot, and we're going to have some. Now, there should only we should only need one waypoint between these two places, so I'm going to slam you down here. Might need a couple going over to Almir, though, so I'm going to shove you over there, and you in here. And let's get some boats going, shall we? Now I'm playing with Squid 8 Fish, which adds a lot more boats. As with anything that gives too many options, we're probably going to find that many of them are useless. Let's just sort by introduction date, passengers... Okay, I think we already have access to the top end ones. So there's this one and this one. This one's very expensive with high capacity on passengers. Very fast. They're both very fast. This one's just much cheaper but much lower capacity. They can both be refitted out though. Certainly uh, a lot better options than the vanilla ones. But vanilla boats are just awful. Then again, there's a 720 passenger option which is really slow. I guess that's just for really bulky transfers. I'd probably have the so-called fast net pad run between Hamburg and Lübeck on the um, the Kiel Canal, which we will eventually have. Anyway, getting ahead of myself. We want to be able to move between Calais and Den Haag. I don't actually see any point in using the smaller one over this bigger one, except for servicing oil fields, which we do now have. But Honestly, I don't think I'm going to count uh, oil field passengers as linking up with the Hansa. I gave it a quick go on a map. I spawned a lot of oil fields and tried moving passengers around. It's nothing but a pain, and there's no real benefit to it because they're just like any other passengers. And it's what made me turn off asymmetric and turn on symmetric destination because I ended up with about a thousand people that wanted to go to an oil platform for no good reason. Still, how are the ships going to move around? Well, it's going to be very simple. It's just going to be Calais, which is also used as a transfer into the station. I like to use the ship depots as pathing because they get um, they get serviced and they don't get lost. So very simple, you're just going to go back and forth between the two and you're going to get going. And I want to do the same for mail. Now when we look at the mail options, you're another one. You can be refitted for 250 bags of mail, but this one can be refitted for 320. Even so, speed is, uh, speed is king, right? So I reckon... Do I want to have two and have them max out? I think I do, because I like having good mail service. So... We'll have you go here, 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 and back again. And everywhere you full load. There'll be a bit of a delay on it, but on you go. Oh, that's right, and I want uh, a pair of you. There we go. I don't like full loading for passengers, just something feels wrong about it. So you're not really moving any passengers just yet, but that's because Calais doesn't realise they can shove them over by boat to Den Haag yet. Den Haag, on the other hand, doesn't have anybody that wants to go there yet. However, they have some people that want to go to Bruges. Oh, never mind, Bruges is over there. I thought that was off of it. James, loads of people want to go to Antwerp. Here I thought I'd added enough trams to perfectly service Antwerp, but uh, I think this line is going to get a lot busier before it gets uh, less busy. Part of the problem is the capacity here is way too low. Breakdowns might be considered another another issue. 
Well, sounds like you just need a whole lot more of- oh, this is confusing. Get out of there. There you go. It's just a conveyor belt at this point. But a functional conveyor belt. For a tiny bit of fun in the oil fields, you could service your passenger needs with helicopters. Uh, I hear helicopters are god-awful. Although, I'll probably try it anyway, just to see how god-awful they are. Okay, interestingly enough, nobody wanting to go to Calais with this. This is Calais Central, right? Hmm. Mm -hmm -hmm. Well, I'm sure they'll get someone eventually. I'm just finding it a bit odd that nobody wants to go there. Because these guys can't otherwise enter this network. Ah, they'll figure it out. Full loading for passengers is only good for pretending you're deporting the entire population of Sussex to the Isle of Man. Sounds useful then. Right, now we have people in Den Haag who want to get off of their tiny little place. We have some that want to go to Utrecht, even. Well, that's a, that's a bit of a hike. Wait, where's Utrecht? Come on, I should know this. Oh, right, no, it's not. Utrecht is... Uh... Come on, Jake, you know this. Where the hell's Utrecht? It's around here. That's right, here it's blocked by its own name that also says Utrecht. In any case, they want to transfer off to get over there, which is really complicated. It means they need to go to Calais, down through Brussels, Eindhoven, and then to Almir, and then they pop off here and uh, enter this system to get to Utrecht. Muckle too complicated. So what I should certainly do is set up something so that uh, they can sail over to Al Almir. Are you part of Almir Central? You are. So we'll have the boats run over to Almir. Bit of a an extra jaunt through here, but I'm sure it'll make it worth their while. So, another one of these Peggy Wells. Going from there to here to here to there. And I need to do it on the way back. The reason I add these waypoints isn't just for servicing, it's to stop the ships from complaining about being lost. Whoops, that was mail. Big whoops. Well, Der Haag transfer, full load. Almir, full load. And I'm going to clone you. So we have two of them going. And then let's get the passenger version out. Buy you and give you, truthfully, the same journey. Just going for passengers. But not being told to full load, because I think that's a trap. Now, I can totally see me needing more than just one of these, but the nice thing about ships is you just set them up, and if you see them running full load a lot, just duplicate a few of them and keep going. Did you refit the boats to accept mail? I hope so. Imagine if I didn't. There we go. Very, very slowly getting mail here. But the mail is 100% outstanding. It just barely makes any... Why does Calais hate mail? Oh yeah, because it's tiny. Even so, though, it should start moving over some of these bags of mail that want to make their way over. Look at that. Someone wants to go to the Den Haag transfer with the Brussels mail. That's, that's all the way over to here. So they want to come out of Brussels to Calais onto that boat and then over to Den Haag. And if anybody wants to deliver their mail to Antwerpen, which nobody does, but I wish they did, then it would just be another step forward on these mail trams. Antwerp, how's your mail situation? Grim and underserviced. It's okay though. If we want more service, we find it, and we control click clone it. Another four might be excessive, but on you go. Ding a ding a ding a ding a ding. That's going to be a problem if this actually starts backing up, which it already is. I've made a boo boo here. Okay, that was a mistake. Sizable mistake, just return them to um, turn them to the station. Purge them. Uh, you two, get out of there. You're clogging the whole place up.
There we go. Okay, it was too. It was overkill. The, pa the mail is fine. It was just because they were all away, I suppose. Open TTT adding traction really messed me up when I started playing again. Uh, I recall the very early time playing Open TD years ago when I had a train really struggling to get up a hill. All sorted now, though. I'd never run into such noob traps, surely. Rotterdam must be feeling good about their service here. Very good in the mail, very good in passengers. Passengers could be a lot better, though. Can hmm? I extend this one out? Looks like it could be extended out. Playing this game is like painting. You can piddle with your stuff forever, I reckon. And maybe I will. Maybe this will be like my RimWorld save, which I never stop playing. So many bags of mail. Where does it all want to go? A lot of it going to Endeavon and Brussels, uh, Brussels Central. Doesn't that mean they'd want to go onto one of these? Calais Central. In that case, why are you not picking it up? bags of mail from here and you go to... Oh, you're the ones going to Almer Central, which means the uh, the boats in Calais. Right, what I should do for you then is actually tell you to skip and then you won't be waiting there. You're going to deal with the other one first. Does Almer load up on... Almer's got a lot of mail. Where's my mail service? That's passengers. Where's my mail? You're my mail, and again, I can just tell you to skip, and you're going to deal with the other guy. Saves it uh, backing up. Otherwise, I have to wait for this one to reach 100%. Remember to bomb London. Thank you, right? Good words. Everyone should hear them. Periodic destruction of London. I do everything I can, and then we come back uh, each month if I remember, but that's a bit tedious, so we'll just periodically do it. We still have a... Oh my god, we've been here for four and a half hours already. I've got uh, Motorsport Manager to do tonight, and it's going to be painful. I want to play it, but I also want to play this. I actually had a recent moment um, where I looked at my games list, and I was like, ah, I don't really feel like playing anything. Well, I, I want to play Payday and uh, RimWorld, but it's like, man, you know, normally I want to play loads of games. And then just, it hit me, the desire for games. I want to play Open TTD. Motorsport Manager, still RimWorld and Payday, I want to play Dynasty Warriors, and Resident Evil Outbreak, and those are just games that I have uh, ready to go. There are plenty upcoming, mostly city builders that I've got my eye on. I haven't checked out vehicle replacement in a wee while. Do we have a better mail uh, truck yet? No. In fact... SH mail tram, but that's the older mail tram, I wouldn't want to replace it with them. I can stop replacing you because you're all gone. These mail trams aren't replacing. I must have some mail trams that aren't moving or aren't doing something. They're probably on an old network in Lubeck, if I had to guess. No. Did I have a mail network in Hamburg? Huh. Okay, God knows where they are. We could actually find them, though. We can sort by model, scroll through the enormous list, and find the odd ones out. It's you. Where are you? Why are you not replacing? Tell you what, if I send them for... Um, If I just send them in for, for that, they will probably get replaced. Send them to the farm. Because <laughs> look, they, they're slowing this whole thing down. That's no good. Goodness, I love this makeshift train station made out of trams. Den Haag likes it as well. It's growing, slowly, but it's growing. Same with Rotterdam. A lot of it is just to get this initial growth going. They're pretty hard to grow from really tiny bits, but hey, Calais is also very slowly growing. Interestingly enough, a lot of things backing up here. Do I not have enough trains on this network? Where are all the bleeding tra- What is happening here? What caused this, I wonder? A really bad breakdown. Sometimes trains can just multiple breakdown and uh, 
Call something like that. The reliability seems fine on these. Only trams could overtake. Like trucks! Yeah, good old trucks. But trams look so good. Okay, are you guys upgraded? That looks like the latest and greatest version, so you can go back out and raise cane. Are you completely filling up here? Yeah, you get loads of things out of Calais Central. And how about you? Are you running full? You are. You're running pretty damn full. In that case, I'm just going to clone you a few times and tell them to go. Anything to help Calais with its uh, large amount of passengers. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking we just need to have more trains on this line. I struggle to think of a good reason not to just saturate the line. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, yeah. Get out there. Oh yeah, now that's more like it. How can you not love this? I'm at a loss for how it's even possible. I wonder if this bypass actually causes me problems, really, since sometimes this will get clogged, so someone takes a bypass to pass it, meaning this is just more clogged. But I think a lot of the problem is I'm just pushing a lot of people out of here right now. I'm sure future Jake won't mind you plugging up the tracks with an overkill of trains. It's okay, they'll get faster later. And that'll make life easier. Probably, when we eventually get to Maglev. I could go for electrified, but I don't know if there are good electrified trains. Better than my diesel one, at least. Engines only. Ooh, a, du a dual-headed one of diesel that goes significantly faster. It also carries mail. That sounds pretty cool. It's not very reliable, though. I like reliability. 71 is too low for me to consider right now. Oh, this is grim. There definitely needs to be a signal here so you can actually move out. Otherwise you have to wait a long while. Although there's still a fair bit of waiting. That's ah, alright, they'll pace themselves out around the whole track. I mean, look how underutilized all this is. Faster trains piling up in half the time, yes. Uh, going electric isn't a, a main change, Marvin. It's going to monorail and maglev, which are big changes, and that those are what I have the mod for. Okay, I might have overdone it on the passengers here, but I'm pretty confident that the number of passengers wanting to move between the places will grow in good time. I actually worry a bit because it's not fully symmetric. Having It might be that they pick up loads at Den Haag and then nowhere near enough at uh, Calais. But I'd figure all these trains would bring their mail over to Calais that want to go over to Den Haag. Then again, they can also get it out of Almir, which has a lot of... Wow. All this people and all this mail. I want to go to Brussels. Oh lord, this is getting choked. How is this so choked, I wonder? There must be a reason. But not a reason I want to accept, that's for sure. There's a train of trains. Now look at all this free space, right? They just need to get moving on the other end. I worry, though, that, uh, you know, this is barely touching the amount of uh, passengers that I need to shove through these lines. And they're already running full. Not with mail, though. Oh, you're not running full at all, though. What's your story? Heading for Calais Central? Well, I guess you didn't want anyone from Brussels. Maybe everyone in Brussels wanted to go the other way. The coup... Hmm, could be there are more rail cars than track. That'll be fine. Right. I want to move more people around by boat, 
and I certainly want to connect up these, but we haven't touched on these poor guys that are sitting all isolated, wishing they could be part of the system. Let me think. Hamburg Central is the terminus here. You're just hearing that breaking down noise, they'll be fine. How are you guys doing anyway? Still this little thing just running around to try and get Lubeck to grow, but Lubeck no longer grows. Uh, it doesn't ship out enough passengers or mail. I want to work on that, but later. I have this whole ship network that I want to sort out, but in a wee bit. I could kind of leave this area, even if it fills up on mail and passengers and whatnot, I reckon everything will grow to a reasonable size. And if they stop growing, then just need to be uh, given more services. Periodic London reminder, thank you kindly. We're running out of big buildings to destroy in London. I'm going to start working on the little guys. I'll start uh, bringing London in, so to speak. How do we feel about Den Haag here? Maybe we shouldn't tell them to wait on Calais. Because you're, you're, you're doing this. Maybe I shouldn't tell them to wait at all. It really hurts the... Um, yeah, I hate to say it, but don't full load on cargo. But that also means that I wouldn't want you to, f to wait on cargo either. Or full load, rather. Yeah, sorry, don't do it. I'd rather full load, though. I don't know why it isn't working so well. I think it's because there are multiple options for where they can put their mail out from Calais. Also, there's not a lot of people to send letters to here. The towns aren't huge, and there are only four of them. Alright, okay, now I can do much more larger scale destruction of London, because we're taking care of the big ones. How's the terraforming in the game? Can you drown London? Oh, you can terraform to your heart's content. You can grow the sea, you can build canals, enlarge rivers, make mountains, make mountains disappear. Look, let's say we didn't want this uh, this mountain here. It's gone now. What if we wanted a big mountain? Bigger, 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 a lot bigger. Yeah, you can just keep growing and growing, but we don't want that. And I probably really made the local authority mad in uh, Alice Holm. <laughs> they hate me for tearing apart their mountain. I look forward to Jake realizing he can't delete road loops that he didn't make. What are you talking about? I can delete roads. I can delete all the roads I want. See these roads? Now they're gone. Hmm? Grain truck. Out of my way. Now they're gone. Now a lot of things are gone. There the well. How dare you say I can't destroy things. Right, 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 right. Oh god, I've left a Hernigan station there. I think we want that. I quite like this little linking up. It feeds the, feeds the towns, gets them into the network, and it doesn't mean that I have to feel obligated to put train lines on everything. Certainly some improvements to be made. I feel like I'm not utilizing the cloverleaf here fully because they could drive along over to here. But maybe I'll use that for goods later on. After a while we have the steel mill and coal mine and such. None of those were loops. Okay, why would loops be special? What do we count as a loop? I'm not even sure there are loops here. I guess this is a loop. You wanted to test me to see if I can destroy that? Oh, then the local authority just hates me. They still hate me. No, no, we're outstanding with the local authority. But it doesn't want me to delete it. Oh god, maybe this is what you're getting at. The local authority just won't let me write. Hmm, how do we solve this problem? I don't like being told what I can and can't do. Oh, wow! Interesting. Toll chaser, yeah. Hmm. I had no idea that was a thing. I wonder if I just don't acknowledge it, we can uh, we can deal with it anyway. 
I think we can. Yeah, weird limitation. Why would they want? Uh, why would they stop that? It's okay. I'm sure I have ways around it. London roads too powerful. Romans knew what they were doing. I like seeing Amsterdam like this, but I don't like it not growing. Amsterdam's problem is not enough passengers and mail being moved out of there. Um, and that's a coverage problem. It's because we don't have all these guys covered. So, the real question is what to do about that. Do I grow the... Um, do I grow this by counting these streets as part of it? It would certainly encapsulate more passengers. But they want more passengers and more mail. Not unthinkable, though. It's a little bit barbaric, but I could crush these houses, build them a road through here, and then give them a few more places to be seen to. Link this up with Amsterdam, Maine. And give them that with uh, the buses as well. It's probably not going to be quite as efficient as my other one, but the buses and trucks could still just use the other one as well. That'd be fine. That's going to improve the catchment area. And that's going to get a lot more goods in on that. It doesn't include this, however. I'm wondering if I actually want to include it or not. A big part of me says, no, don't do it. Another part of me says, oh, what's the harm? It's just blowing up a few of these. There we go. C to Amsterdam and C to Amsterdam. These ones will get clogged really easily, but they'll also go over and take care of these. And now we have very good coverage of Amsterdam. Even includes valuables, which I don't ship, but could. At what population do they demand goods for growth? That's at 4,000. Do we have anyone at 4,000? Well, not London anymore. Speaking of London... Farewell. We'll find a way to take care of that. Uh, Moscow should be huge, right? Yeah, I can find Moscow on a map. Moscow... Okay, it's not going to tell me here because it's not actively growing. Do we actively service any 4,000 population cities? No, Hamburg is close. But at 4,000 above, they will demand goods, valuables, and I think something else to increase their growth. Why are the names in German? Probably made by a German. I mean, Jings, what kind of person would make this kind of map? A German, that's who. Almere, really growing? Remember when Almere was just a football pitch and a farm? Well, now it's got a high-rise. It's got a roof hotel. It's got an absurd amount of passengers and mail looking to move away. But that's okay, those are on the transfer. They want to go everywhere. Is there anyone that really stands out? Lots of them want to go to Antwerpen. Jake knows where Antwerpen is. Now the problem is these signs get in the way of the names of them. Is there some way to remove these? I wouldn't want to remove them though. That could be a bit of a problem, because th that means they're going to want to sail over to Den Haag. Actually, problem? Problem means there can be a solution. You don't have a lot of mail, but I'm certain there's a very overstressed passenger ship. So let's go and help them out with that. I'm going to clone this ship uh, several times. And it's going to fly between the two and help out a lot with the Almir population. Of course, that means that Den Haag is going to be saturated, and then we'll need more trams to get them over to Rotterdam, Amsterdam, uh, Antwerp, and uh, Bruges. But, like I said, this game is about solving problems you make for yourself. Infinitely growing problems. Where did that come from? I thought I deleted you. Get out of here, London. No time or space for you. We've deleted about uh, two-thirds of London now, not much more of it to go. Any vote in the UK is a loss. I look forward to the extensive tram network. Yeah, this tram network isn't extensive enough, but it's a great uh, way of showing what it can do. It's really just a sushi belt, and in a way, that's better than a train. The only downside are the breakdowns. 
But as I said, I service these guys constantly. Their reliability should be sky high. I mean, something could be said for going in for service on the way out for the longer journeys like Antwerpen. But these guys are coming for it. Their reliability has gone down to 77. They come in and go back up to 95. That's fine. That is better than fine. It's not half bad. And then they go into Antwerp to start the whole thing again. That's definitely more trams than I need for Antwerp's people. But Antwerp is growing larger than the coverage here can handle. Eh, not quite, but soon. And I can I can solve that the similar way we did with the vehicles elsewhere. The only downside is that I can't have the offshoots of the roads. Imagine how long a tram from Amsterdam to Antwerp would take. Jeez! Well, no, you'd be riding at a fairly solid 72 kilometers per hour. Things there are trains that can't reach that for various reasons. But my trains of trams will handle it. Mmm. It's annoying seeing all these passengers and mail pile up. I'd rather they were always, always dealt with. But what matters are the ratings. And if they're very good, that's great. It'd be better if they were higher, though. Does that mean that you can have a statue of me? There we go. That's going to improve those ratings by 10%. Watch that grow. Watch that grow. Oh, I'm pressing caps lock, not tab. There we go. It's going to go up by 10 flat percent because I erected a statue of me. Gothenburg's trams sure as hell aren't that fat. Yeah, neither is San Francisco's. I love seeing... I think I like seeing this more than I like seeing the train stations. How's the train line? Is it clogged to hell and back? No, looks like it's largely gotten itself unstuck. Largely. Calais isn't overflowing with passengers. In fact, you're going to come in and probably actually add passengers. Oh, that's pathetic. These people don't want to get on the train network. I think I've saturated it with trains and the other people just want to fly out on the docks now. We can always check that. You have no idea how much I love checking this list. Just the idea that passengers have actual places they want to go to. Couldn't imagine playing it without it. Anyway, it's telling me that I don't have enough boats moving people, but in come the people. Let's see it, let's see it. Transfer for 600, but you pick up... Mmm. You just picked up 207... Oh, that was mail. Right, show me the passengers. Transfer money, transfer money. Income. How's the passenger list here? Annihilated by boats. Speedy boats at that. Do these make a profit? Of course they don't. But they're part of the bigger picture. Because of those transfers, the trains will make even more money. So it's not a problem that my trains run a, um, a deficit. And I'm quite sure not all of them do. Mmm, loving to see it. I'd love it if their hog was growing a bit better, though. Mm -mm -mm. Right, do I want to link up any more places with boats? I still need to link up pretty much all of this. And I need to do the keel canal. I've only got about an hour before I'm meant to stop streaming. I'm not sure that's going to be time enough for it. But we could give it a go, couldn't we? For example, this doesn't need to be an extensive uh, connection. I could... Man, Almere, I think, is going to be much busier than I ever intended it to be. But there are a lot of trains that come in and out. Just also a lot of passengers wanting to move around. Um... Hmm. No, no, no. You have an hour before you're meant to start motorsport... Wait, what? That can't be right. Oh yeah, Christ, I'm meant to be stopping now and uh, having my dinner and then dealing with Motorsport Manager, but I want my Kiel Canal. No, okay, well that's just all the excitement to leave for tomorrow. That's unreal. This felt like about an hour and a half to me, but it's been five hours. Fortunately, I have it on a good authority that we're going to win Motorsport Manager this week. I have a funny feeling Open TTD is going to absorb that time and it's going to be like RimWorld again, where we just play the same game for 12 hours all day. And that suits me just fine. That's exactly why I got into this business. I feel so bad for streamers out there that hate their game, hate their streams, and hate their lives because they're typecast into just one game that they don't really want to play. I'm kind of inventing a scenario here, but I'm sure it happens. But this game, oh, it has me by the throat. I love it. I like to think there's already been an improvement with my networks, but if you're watching this and thinking, Jake, your networks are trash, I know much better ways to do it, by all means, reach out, send me screenshots, send me saves or whatever, 
I will absorb the information and fold it into the uh, the Hansa here, which will probably eventually end up looking like a real patchwork of different systems, different logistic networks, all sewing into itself to barely be held together with scotch tape. And that's fine by me. But until we get on with absorbing the, uh, the lowlands, northern Germany, and making our Kiel Canal, that's got to be it for me. So it is a cheers, and very much, until we're back in an hour with Motorsport Manager, a cheerio.